Time to go. Dang, uh, no, wait, I should have gotten water. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit, I should have gotten water. That's fine. I'm not gonna stand up. <gasps> no! Ah, yes. It is time to accompany myself with the voices in my head. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Wind Strider! I don't know what time it is for you guys right now. I'm an idiot. Hold on. There you go! I was wondering why the chat was not showing up, then I realized that it was stuck on top of chat. Hello, good evening. I know I shouldn't be watching this, but I'm in a trigonometry class. Hi, hi, hi. Y'all better not be skipping classes to watch me stream. Question mark. Alright, hi. Would you prepare tissues? No. Time to go. I hope nothing bad happens to me right now. So hello everyone. Welcome back to the part two of the Arcan Quest. I just finished writing my midterm paper. So I'm here, bitches. <laughs> hello, hello, good evening. Here we ballin' in a bit. Man, I don't wanna- I don't wanna be caught lack. I'm currently in a Discord call with like two other people that are muted just because I don't want my mix drivers to fuck up. So... I can't be caught lacking. These two bozos will never let me live it down. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? I just got been going great. You're in for a ride. It's night here, so I just worried out, buddy. <laughs> Ayo. Um, to the both of you in the in in this in this call, could you tell? <laughs> could you tell Rip Duck just in case to like not go in here and open his mic? Just in case, <laughs> please. <laughs> sure. Thank you. <laughs> Hope your paper went well. <laughs> <laughs> How have you managed to avoid spoilers? Yes. I actually have. I'm making pasta and I will watch free chocolate milk. And I Time to go. Me. I want chocolate milk right now. I'm just So I think what we did was actually plan for the trial of Lady Farina alongside the peep you know, the characters. And alongside Linny, Lynette, Fremine, Clorant, uh, Navia, and Nervalette. So, you know. <laughs> Night Southeast Asians. I'm actually curious. Is anyone here actually in the morning? Is this a morning? Wait, let me just do this. This might be easier. <laughs> You're There you go. Simple. You know the key to avoiding spoilers? The key to avoiding spoilers is playing a whole different game altogether. Cap. <laughs> yeah, it's 10 p.m. here right now. It's morning for me and I just got Time to go. work. Damn. It's finally starting to rain here. 8 a.m. Sweet lord. It really shows you just how... It really shows you just how different. <laughs> to add the, uh, how different is of double and skippable ads. You can thank YouTube for that. Oh no. <laughs> to the people that are currently facing with the ads, thank you so much for feeding my need for an actual <laughs> chair. I'll buy one one day, I promise. <laughs> are we just running around with Kazuha? No, we're just waiting for. We're just waiting around for a bit. Longer. 
just so that just before we start here so the people that wanted to get here as early as possible can come in here apologies if my voice is kind of low today i'm not as hyper because it's 10 p.m Time so this is gonna be a bit more of a relaxed session and i think because of everyone has been warning me that it's gonna be kind of ow it's gonna be kind of sad i guess it's kind of appropriate no it's kind of appropriate right now that i'm exhausted <laughs> i did nothing to do yeah chill stream did you eat kazuha's hair damn damn Say it's chilling with ass there, truly. Well, sometimes you're just gonna receive one of two asters one that's really exhausted, or the other one that's high as hell. Scream once and you face the go. wrath of the Cinturon. Do you play HSR? I'm actually. <laughs> okay, listen, yeah, it's funny. Uh, I don't know if I, I, I. I might play HSR. I might play. You know what? If I get my control, I might play HSR again. I can love Benjamin. <laughs> Alright. I think we can start. So, to recap, we just are gonna. <sighs> we're meeting up it's with Navia, I days, think. So much has been happening. Okay. So, wait, let me. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Someone chatted me something that made me confused. I'm just gonna adjust the sound for a bit. Um, it just. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear like someone, if you hear a dude's voice just suddenly like pop into the call, just assume that somebody unmuted, okay? You're not going insane. I tr uh, trust me, you guys. You guys, you folks are not going insane. As are you gonna finish the whole quest thing tonight? Yes, I am going to endeavor to finish this whole quest tonight, and I was told that it was a good quest. So, you guys are in the treat for around three to four hours. I think. I think. I remember I promised someone that I was going to sleep around 12.30. I am so sorry if that's not true. Anyway. Let's begin. <sighs> Hyman didn't think the meetings would go on for so long, but everyone seemed pretty fired up, huh? Is it... Is the audio okay in comparison to my voice? Or do you want me to boost someone up? It, but everyone else just looked a little surprised. Do you feel more confident after the meeting? I'm on. Okay, it's okay. Neato. Audio is good, thank you. Uh, well... Your reassurances give me it's strength. Paimon doesn't have any <laughs> experience with this sort of thing. But with you around, Paimon sure will do great. After all, you're the most reliable person in the world, aren't you? <laughs> uh... Is something wrong? Am I gonna pull for more font and care? You have no idea how much I'm regretting right now. I'm not pulling for Nervalet at the moment that I tried him in trial. I am so sad right now that I did not get Nervalet. Uh, did you just pour some tea? Paimon didn't notice you doing that at all! No, I didn't pour some tea. What's up? Uh, then what's that? It's poison, don't drink it. Paimon's never seen that cup before! It's poison, don't, don't drink it. Don't be frightened. I'm just joining you two for tea. I merely refrained from saying anything till now. This is it, guys. These are the voices in our heads. This is it. There's the voices. Hello. <laughs> and just like that. That's how we... That's how the voices are gained, huh? <gasps> Who's that voice? Uh, but there's no one here! This gets... Aww. It's Em. Have you forgotten me already? It's Nicole. Wait. You are familiar. You're the voice we heard from the sky in Sumeru. <clears throat> it's the voice from the sky, hmm? I fear that description and this is for wrong. NPC. So, not completely wrong. She kind of reminds me of Yaimiko's voice. <clears throat> You're feeling lost now. Just as you were feeling previously. Who are you I and what do you want that with us? confusion and thus came to you. Guiding people is an irresistible hobby of mine, after all. She's an ironically a backseater. Hmm. Consider me a passerby. Just accepting a commission from my friend's disciple on a whim. Oh, 
Oh, she's talking about Mona. Wait, let me just boost up my volume real quick. Sorry about that. And then reduce this one. Neat. That's well. Allow me to ask you, will Fontaine's prophecy come true? So this is one of the... Uh, this is N. This is Nicole, right? You know what I'm saying? The prophecy. Yes. Her voice what really is similar to Ratana's. Okay, I'm saying. You may view such things as the history of the future. I see. What? Then is there any way we can stop it? No. I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. Can everything in Tavat so easily be changed? Ah, huh. There it is again. Fate. And there really be no exceptions. Ah, so you've caught on. Just as Skyra's prophecies quest are is usually an quest, only yes. the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods. Could things be happening in hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall? Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? Oh. Well, what is she talking about? It all sounds really impressive and important and stuff, but it also sounds kind of scary. The tea in the teacup is about is just about gone as well. I believe that you understand, right? Some things are insignificant, but others you must reach out to change. Now that you ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tavat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. Hmm. Something, this was something, good Lumo tea, Fate, by the way. something, something. Thank you for your hospitality. Well, that'll be all for today. The voice. It's gone. She just went in here and spilled the tea, literally. Mage N, is this the clue you're leaving for us? The unexpected news leads to complicated feelings when you wake up, someone seems to be outside. They're in your walls. Huh? Hello, I'm good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to the last part of the argument. Right, right, <laughs> but if you drink the teacup, she has to speak faster so that she can match the cinem <laughs> the cinematography of the tea disappearing. She <laughs> you think everyone just saw Paimon and Traveler talking to a teacup? <laughs> also hidden corner from the god's gaze. <laughs> when hey, you find you who's getting lazy, okay? Well, I see I've walked in on some lively banter. Hello, Mona. Mona! Comes in saying some leaves equals base. Fine, just fine. I went to take part in that Steambird panel. It turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Hello, Mona. Not all Fontanians are pessimistic about this. One journalist mentioned that sitting around and waiting for the end to come would be wrong, and that they should make their own rescue preparations. I agreed, so we had a brief chat with her. Uh, did she have pink hair by any chance? Oh, she had Charlotte. Why, yes, it was Charlotte. You remember her, right? That daredevil journalist. Mm-hmm. I'm in full support of her view. Prophecies are very important, but... How can people allow their lives to be commandeered by just a few words? Hold well, on, let me just boost the That's audio right. on the end. I'm glad to hear something sensible for once. There you go. Ah, yes. About what we had discussed before. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't reach the old hag. I'll try again tonight, but... She is the same voice as Chaltier from Overlord, if you know that anime. Yeah, Mona's voice actress is the same as Chaltier's in the English version, yeah. Huh? <laughs> if you know Overlord, yeah. Goodness gracious! Are you serious? I believe she came to pass a message to both of us. She said that even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty bold if you ask the <laughs> one. Most people would believe the gods to be all-knowing, right? The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. As for and the mage named N, are you? the old hag has mentioned her a few times. She said that N's sense of direction is incredible, and that she loves guiding those who are lost. If but you know I've who Shaltir is, then she were still alive, boy. Be. <laughs> well, <laughs> suffice it to say that the hag's at least a few hundred now, and N's been around for longer than that. Ooh. Whoa. 
The Hex and Zirko sounds like a scary group. But they must really stay in shape to live so long. They're ancient. Their abilities alone are pretty terrifying. If she came to see you personally, then the problem you're facing must truly be of great importance. Well, it's not like Paimon could understand anything she said. Will you re-upload this? This will be a VOD. Yeah, this will be a VOD. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. This shall all come... This shall all be recorded in history. Yes, she was quite cryptic, but... I suspect she means that there is still a way to turn things around. She didn't say when or what I'm that curious. Would be, though, Do so... you folks subscribe to the idea of astrology? Like, you know those Aries Perhaps rising, Pisces descending... Right uh, sorry, um, those moon Venus charts. I actually had mine read a few days ago and it's actually pretty nice. I find it kind of fun. Like, of course you're not supposed to, you know, have it all. Uh, you know, my life is just going to revolve around the stars. Of course not. But it is kind of fun. Yeah, like, I... If you want to, if you're bored, you can just, like, have it read. Like, your whole star charts and stuff. I, I can read the birth charts. Ooh. It's fun, but that's it. <laughs> it's, like, one of those things that you see in glam books. But the aesthetics are fun, true. And you're not supposed to believe them, I don't think you are. But like, to each their own. Traveler, Paimon, are you two alright? Oh, we're fine. We're just a little down right now. It kind, it kind of feels, feels like the end is coming, you know? Yeah, I see. it is. I feel that same sense of desperation too. Ooh. I guess you could consider me someone who has often witnessed fate. So far as I have seen, it cannot be swayed. But even so, I still hope for. Yeah, it feels it feels nice. Miracles. Astrology is eternal and rational, but fate may not be. It is cruel, but it can also be beautiful. Ah, oh, that's a very fascinating way of putting that. Astrology is eternal and rational, but fate might not may not be. It is cruel, but it can also be beautiful. True, there are just some things in life that you can never control. Perhaps that's what N was trying to tell you. Not to lose heart, and to believe that what you are seeing playing out before you is not yet set in stone. Hopefully. I did originally think of steering clear of all this, but I couldn't. I'm Even curious, what's everyone's so futile, I still wish to help I'm not gonna everyone. do a reading or anything. If we don't struggle curious, to the last, what's your zodiac how can we are? fix the end when I'm a comes. Capricorn. I'm born in January, alongside of... Uh, what's the same? <laughs> there I go, talking about astrological principles again. I am Sorry at this... That. I am, sim I am same as Scaramouche. My stuff. birthday is uh, oh, four I days after going. Scaramouche's. Which is January 8th. And Vikana, thank you. Ooh. I think I have a vague idea of whose birthday is on where. But like... I don't know, I just find kind of fun. I'd have never pegged you as a Capricorn? Really? <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. Yeah. My birthday is January 8th. Similar, same to my mom's. My mom and I have the same birthday. It was worth trying to comfort you, even if, if only, only a little. little. I believe that you'll help those who are she struggling after free, in the same way I did. Is... <laughs> She's the same birthday as a child. Fourth like January? Coincidence. No, mine's at... You feel like Capricorn. Thank you. Why I don't know if it's a compliment. Kind of <laughs> What's your rising but sign? My rising sign kind of is Sagittarius, I think? No, my rising sign is Scorpio. <laughs> yeah. Scorpio rising, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what that means, but... Uh -huh. Hey, Traveler! Paimon suddenly feels like going outside I for like a walk. I like her. Nice. How Let's advanced. Go. Happy birthday. Thank you. What's, What's a rising sign? Happy I Sally? have no idea. There's a few spots we always like to walk by. I guess... I don't know what the rising sign is. I'll be real with you. I just know what mine is, and that's it. Whenever Moon is on the Time screen, we must always talk about this astrology, and that's about it. Um... Is this a bump? 
It is. <laughs> it is above. Always have a wave of the words. It's only t plenty of time and space for Dane Sleeve to sway there. And I like Dane Sleeve. <laughs> He's he's so ch he's unironically really chill. I like him as a character. It's kind of bad for him, honestly. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> but he's pretty chill. Honestly, after everything's done, I really hope that we can just like hang out with Dane Sleep. You know what I mean? Hi, what did I miss? You missed the talk with Mona regarding feet and stuff. A friend of mine said that I felt like a Capricorn. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Where are my Dane Savers? <laughs> Isn't Min Sleeve a Dane Saver? <laughs> feet? I didn't say feet. What? You did. What? Did I? Wait, what did I say? No, I said feel like a Capricorn. Like, what does that mean? I didn't say feet. No, earlier. I said fate. I said fate. No, you said feet. I didn't say feet. Too slow. God damn it. You said talk about feet. I said fate. Uh. Huh? Oh. Our names are written in this newspaper. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Maybe I just may hire. Maybe I kind of ought to pilot that. Sorry. No, please! <laughs> please. Please. I said fate. I said fate. I'm sorry. I, I misspoke. I misspoke. I misspoke. I misspoke. I misspoke. Okay, I misspoke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cat, you heard her. She said feet. Can you please go away? <laughs> you really. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. Let's see. <laughs> the underwater stronghold, the fortress of Mary Pete, Pete has continued in its noble autonomy. <laughs> Y'all down. Not mean that others cannot interact with it. Oh? My recent attempts to, to enter, enter the, the fortress, fortress bore little, little fruit. fruit. Huh. Guess Charlotte still hasn't given up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, did an outlander friend become the focus of this report? Yeah, this is a past the teeth. A blind with their white fairy legends trailing in their wake. It is said <laughs> that this mysterious traveler once visited the underwater fortress. Y'all so better not be down bad for my friend's voice, thanks. Mystery behind closed doors, <laughs> do not fear, for the tales of the traveler contains surprises no. and fates. <laughs> Journalist Charlotte's biggest scoop yet, the traveler's trail. <laughs> the, the, the world talk. <laughs> Oh, good. All right. Too late. For too, too late for what? What did I? Huh? She hasn't been able to get a hold of anything. I'm so scared. <laughs> There's like a latency in chat, and like I have no idea what like certain comments are referring to. So now I'm scared. What the too late is for? <laughs> anyway. Ugh, seriously? Well, fine. Those headlines and photos do look cool, so Pymo will forgive her this time. Pick up the song thingy. The, the 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 pineapple looking thing. Pi wait, wait, where's the pineapple? Wait, do we have? Oh, there it is. Hello. We are not talking about Mona's feet. Quit following me. <laughs> I said, I, okay, I, I misspoke. I misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> Do you plan on finishing the quest on this stream? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We're here! <sighs> Chat's like just happy to, to mess around for yet? now before the inevitable sad things. Wait, do we all call it the pineapple? Yeah, it looks like a pineapple. I'm not insane. I got it. I'll show you later. Alright, back to the quest. Back to the quest. Hey. Yeah, it looks like a sliced pineapple. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying. That's, Good night to those that need to sleep. Yes. Edition, only 16 slices a day cake. It has already sold out for the day. Dude, I want cake. Actually, no, I don't like cake. 
I don't know if I like cake. Do you guys like cake? You folks like cake. <laughs> it was so delicious the last time we tried it. Despite the tense situation we were in, let's give it another go. By my I, sure this is my great. first time reaction, and I'm and I haven't been spoiled on anything because I've been playing League of Legends for the past couple of days, and unfortunately, I have not been seeing anything interrelated because I've been playing League of Legends. So this is my first time seeing this. Is completely blind. One slice of cake, please. <sighs> Someone showed up after all! Cake. Tiramisu is really good. Wait, you're the one from the Palais Mermonia. Oh, are you here to buy cake too? <laughs> it seems Monsieur Nervalette was right. You really can eat. I have cake when you can have the original can thing really the cake is flavored like out of. You know when I was like reading that, I was like, the flour? Are we just gonna eat the flour? <laughs> no, no. No, Aster. That's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I was so confused. That's right. Even he has his own preferences when it comes to food. As for me, I love the cake and coffee here. Do you come Man, here I often? like coffee. Best melusine right there. I love coffee cake. Coffee cake is so nice. Sadine's mm, voice is so nice. Every day. I agree. This so, but she sounds so familiar. Every day? It's part of my daily schedule, apart from work. <laughs> I shall have my cake and coffee. I should have my cake and coffee. It's like me then with chocolate milk. Did you guys know that I don't eat breakfast? Okay, that's a, that's not a flex. I don't have time or energy anymore. for breakfast. So I just eat think? like I just drink Nesquik chocolate milk. Like and that's like that's it for the day. That's not a flex. <laughs> I usually just wake up at eleven. But okay, and I have like close? morning fasts or something. Well, Paimon doesn't know either, but so maybe maybe the waters will rise tomorrow. You know, like in the prophecy. Oh, Paimon. Oh, the prophecy. Um, to be honest, I haven't paid much attention to that. No, uh, still, even if there'd be no more cake tomorrow, that wouldn't keep me from having some today. Oh, she's true. You know, yeah, if you're gonna die tomorrow, you might as well live happy today. You might not be able to eat tomorrow, but if you can do so today, then you should get Milo's home. good. What I like Milo. Call living, you know. Aww. Huh. Paimon's the presso arc. Excuse me, could I have two more slices of cake to go? I like that Please philosophy. If you're gonna die tomorrow, you might as well live happy today. This kind of expression you're making is what humans call being sad. Oh, you know Sea Dream? Mm hmm. I sure do. Mm -hmm. She was born before me, and she sometimes comes to the surface to teach us things about humans. I haven't read Sea Dream's lore, but does anyone know why? Seedwin looks like that. Does anyone know why Seedwin looks humanoid instead of a melusine? I actually don't know why. But I don't. Okay, it hasn't been explained. Okay. She said that Proceed. humans are creatures that are saddened easily. Yes, and you can only lift their spirits by feeding them delicious food. So please try the cakes here. Oh, I've got sweet. something else to do, so I'll be going now. You two try to stay in a good mood after eating, all right? Mm -hmm. Bye. I like her voice actor, yeah. Okay, I opened the can of worms. All right, let's dig in. I'm unsure this cake will be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the can of worms with that curious, innocent question. Oops, my bad. It's more delicious than last time. And the flavor gets even better with a sip of tea. It sure would be nice if we could come again tomorrow. Sure would be nice if we could always eat delicious food here. I appreciate the downtime here. There's so much downtime for just like opening this quest. Before the inevitable flooding. Once that happens, I'm not gonna read chat. So... Oh, Y'all say what you wanna say now happens. before I inevitably... <sighs> start crying. <laughs> Honestly. This is the downtime where I get to talk with you guys while we do the arc, the, the beginning of the Arkan quest before we inevitably wow. die. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon! Oh, have you seen the article I wrote about you? The World Walker. Ha! You got some nerve! You just used us to make some quick mora! Can we negotiate the profit slip? Split? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I heard that you were in Poisson some time back, so I sent you a letter to discuss just that. 
It appears you didn't receive it, though. Yeah, because unfortunately something happened in Poisson and... Let's just say that people disappeared, you know? It's alright, though. I've set aside the amount intended for you. I've even set the table with some food. She's bribing us. This is exactly how they get you to, like, do exclusives. They're bribing you. Really? Oh, you're the best! <laughs> you're almost a little too easy to win over, Paimon. If I were a journalist with ulterior motives, you'd be in trouble now, you know. I swear to god, the chat is not currently in a Samsara festival. Are we allowed to talk about the Lucid Silver? No, we're not allowed to talk about the Lucid Silver because I still remember them and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Journalism 101 Bribery? As a student of communication research and of the mass communication, I am not allowed to advocate for any kind of bribery when it comes to journalism. <laughs> oh, Paimon knows you're not like that. Still, what brings you here all of a sudden? Were you looking for me? No. When Mona mentioned you, we thought of coming to see you at work. True. <laughs> I see. It seems you've already bumped into Mona here in Fontaine. And I, for I forgot that she she has like a halter top instead of like a full on, you know, like a full on uh, long So she mentioned me? What did she say? She said that you're a real daredevil of a journalist. Truly. <laughs> nice. In which case, can this daredevil journalist dare to request an exclusive interview with the legendary Traveler and Paimon? Don't we have bigger things that we need to do? Huh? So your article in the paper today doesn't count? Allegedly. Oh, of course it doesn't. That was more like live photography. What I'd like to do is dive deeper and ask you to talk about the things you've seen and experienced. I think it's more so just Charlotte and Yanfei having the same color palette, which is like uh, red with pink hair. You know what I mean? Yeah, are we even qualified? Library enough? is punishable by prison time to, of 2 to 12, 12 years. That seems oddly short. <laughs> If I say you're worth an interview, then you're worth it. But not... Oh. In that case, we'll just chat when you have the time then? If you want... If we would get a Genshin character in HSR, it would be Charlotte. That's true. Her aesthetic definitely fits. Oh, so that's a yes? Oh, splendid! I'll tell the editor-in-chief immediately. I'll have to apply for lighting, a venue, some props, and... Oh, I kind of hate those so much to get done now. Post. Talk to you later. Which <laughs> makes sense. It feels cold. Honestly. Wait, Charlotte, Paimon's still got a question for you. That would just be pom- Oh, that's true. <laughs> Never mind, that is just pom-pom. If, just for example, Fontaine were to be flooded tomorrow, what would you do today? Huh, Aww. that's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? I mean, I do hear about it often, but I've never once thought that the day could be tomorrow. I mean... To be honest, you don't know. If you're seriously asking, then I might try and think of a way to leave Fontaine. Yes. Oh, but I'm still a journalist, first and foremost. That means I have a duty to be reporting from the scene. And secondly, I wouldn't forsake my homeland that easily. Um, this isn't a matter of loyalty. I don't know where you're getting that idea. This is a matter of a flood. So please get away. As, f as far as possible. Save yourself. From what I've seen, most people don't know what they do should the worst come to pass. In truth, it might be better just to behave like normal rather than worry over such an end. Not wrong. So We're all gonna all die eventually. Would, I'd probably still be prepping at the office for that interview of ours. I know what you're thinking. That sounds a bit sad, but I've always believed that it's best to do what you enjoy. Just think about it. If this nation really were to Whoa. be suddenly destroyed tomorrow, <laughs> but I still successfully finish an exclusive interview with a truly unique person, then the story I would wind up writing would truly be timeless. Can't we just postpone that? Like, literally do a rain check? It's not like the traveler is going to die in the flood, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not like the traveler is going to die in the flood. So... <laughs> Oh. And then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that story, send it for printing, and use messenger pigeons to get copies out to the various nations as soon as possible. I'm not a dreamer, nor am I a workaholic. But I this do is love debatable. My job, and I'd be proud of leaving such an article behind. I guess you could say that I was born to be a journalist. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna say this right now, a bit of a disclaimer. As nice as it is for you to be as optimistic as Charlotte, I'm just going to be the responsible, our, our responsible voice of reason here and just tell you guys that in the event that there is a flood warning, you know, sudden death, um, you might want to move and run and get away and evacuate. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, that's my answer. And on that note, I'll get back to my preparations. <laughs> I do not that's so nice. It kind of delusional. All it's all my doors here. Carmen actually kind of envies her. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the sea, shall we? But ask her what about? Okay, okay. You know, funny story. Funny story. I say that, right? I say that. I say that. I, I, I just say that. But I remember. Okay, so the Philippines is always, almost like at some point, there were constant um earthquakes like there was a weekly occurrence of earthquakes down here because of the vo volcanic uh, uh, volcanic activity if you if you know about the taal incident you would know that around that area there was just a lot of earthquakes for a while <laughs> i remember when i was doing like in the middle of an earthquake um like in the middle of the earthquake while the earthquake was happening Everyone in the library was not getting up because they were just saying I still need to finish this paper and I'm just like trying to walk out with my laptop in my hand I'm just like the earthquake is not going to delay this deadline. I know for sure <laughs> I know for sure that's not gonna happen like <laughs> I, I say that right now to Charlotte, but me as a person There are multiple times that every time an earthquake occurred. I just went um, anywhere. <laughs> I swear, like, it was such a massive inconvenience at some point for Filipinos. Um, I think it was around, I don't know if it was like, um, the mid year, right? I was in the middle of a DD game. It was 12 a.m. I felt the ground shaking. I was, I was in a call with like seven other people, and we were just like, Do you guys feel that? And I was like, Yeah, there was an earthquake. So anyway, <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> yeah, it's it's something that people just get like <laughs> earthquake. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh man. <laughs> so do as I yeah do as I say, not as I do, because I, there are I've I, there are too many times that I have not responded fast enough to an earthquake. <laughs> And I kind of prioritized my paper <laughs> too much. So do as I say, not as I do. So I don't know. It just it just reminded me of that incident. <laughs> People finding out Aster is Filipino. <laughs> oh no, anyways. Oh my gosh. The sea breeze and scenery can be a pretty soothing combo. Continue huh? on, nobody left. <laughs> Paimon's been thinking. Oh, are we gonna get a moment with Paimon? If it wasn't Fontaine, but all of Tevat that would be destroyed tomorrow. I haven't yet. Where would we go and what would we do? No, Paimon should ask if you could choose. What would you like to do? Ooh, Paimon's giving the very heavy hitting questions. She's asking if we would leave Tevat or not. We've always been moving to the next destination, so we haven't spent much time thinking about these kinds of things. We didn't have to either, with us always being on the road and whatnot. I'm leaving play like this music. Oh, that's so, that's so sad. Because like, I don't know. I wonder how. Because the Traveler has technically been in Tevat for around three years, right? Because of the Lantern Rite rotations. So we at least have a concrete year going through. At least three years. So my question, right? My question is... Those three years in Tevat. How much does that really mean to the Traveler? Because to us as players, right? It's very big. Like, these people are people that... You know, that we talk to or play. But to the traveler, who's who lives for thousands of years, who has seen hundreds of thousands of worlds, what does it mean? Kind of like that. 
But the events actually canon. Yeah, they are. They're they're canon. Imagine if the lantern rent was in canon. Oh no. <gasps> That's so unfortunate. You mean still traveling? Yeah, cherishing every single moment that I have to look upon this world. How did Genshin timeline even work? It's weird. It's it's really weird, yeah. Huh. Wait, isn't that what we've always been doing? The banter goes back and forth between the two of you as time slips by. As night falls, you return to your accommodations and end this busy day. Yeah, three years is probably nothing compared to immortality. Yeah, he dodged the question. Charlotte comes to find you and conducts an interview in the Spina de Rizula safe house at Flosonde. Navi, having finished her business in Poisson, even drops by to take a photo. All goes well. All goes well. Okay. Why? Feels like you'll grow mold if you stay here long enough. That's true. But it's still better than the Fortress of Miripede, that's for sure. It's not only damp there, but salty too. Ah, oh, so the two of you are still here. Wonderful. Hello, who are you? Oh, you're from the Palais Marmonia, aren't you? I have no idea who she is. Yes, well, so... I'm Isadora. <laughs> Monsieur Nervilla oh, seemed doing to great. look for you two before. Greetings. I heard that afterward you went to the fortress of Meropede. Uh, so you're under the impressions that we might be wanted criminals? Are you here to... Uh, to try and report us to the Udex? <laughs> Not at all. I'm well aware that you're friends of his. Actually, I'm here to pass along a message from him. Let's hear it. Did something happen? Yes. Yes, inside the That's opera house. That's of his The Mari Chaussee Phantom has declared the incident a small-scale riot. Huh? A riot? Damn. Well, that said, I don't personally think it was that serious. Did anyone get hurt? Did anyone die? Lady Farina was watching a performance at the Opera House, and while she was resting during an intermission, some other audience members suddenly started harassing her. Ew. Loudly accusing her of doing nothing about the prophecy crisis. Oh boy. And before she could respond, others started to join in. The crowd continued to grow, Let and them protests eat cake. the Hydro Archon started to break out. So, people have started to put the blame on Farina. Guess they finally found an outlet for the pressure they've been under due to the prophecy. I mean... They're not wrong, but they're not right. You know what I mean? They're not wrong, but they're not right. I think that the people are starting to get afraid, and rightfully so. I agree. People will naturally Let's rely on gods, as is customary. A riot. But the moment people feel threatened, gods are also the first to be blamed. I mean... <laughs> so what happened after that? Is Farina okay? More like, should the people be okay? Seeing that the situation was spiraling out of control, and that further argument was pointless, she claimed that she'd gotten tired of this, and left in a hurry. Oh boy. The Marsha say Phantom had their hands full maintaining order and did not catch where Lady Farina had gone. Only when things had stabilized did we realize that she had gone missing. Ooh. So, you mean she's still missing? She is gone. That's right. Oh god. The Marsha say has dispatched many people to search for her, but we don't have any leads yet. <laughs> that said, I don't think there's much to worry about. She is a god after all. Even if she were to fall into the hands of rioters, what could ordinary people do to her? That's exactly what they said in Salterai. And I wonder where the god of salt went. Good. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Monsieur Nervilad sent me to tell you about the situation, but he didn't say anything else. Do you Don't hear worry. the people say? This is more say? than enough to go on. Thanks for Saying keeping us informed. Something, something. Oh, is that so? Well, all right then. In that case, you two take care. Salt and I'll be betrayal. heading back to the palais now. <laughs> well, sounds like we should hurry over to Poisson then. Poisson. If we know 
Farina. She won't try to fix things in this situation. Here's her salty, so there you go. She'll look for a place to wait out the heat. And, as we also know, she may be loud and dramatic, but she doesn't have a heart of stone. When Nervalet was talking to her in the Palais Mermonia, and she heard about Poisson, Poisson? she couldn't hide her <laughs> sadness and remorse. Mm -hmm. It would be hard for her to ignore being accused by the public today. Uh. Hyman thinks Farina's probably taken the opportunity to slip away to Poisson and try to relieve the sense of guilt that she's feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, I'm not the answer, of course, but Pi can do the analysis to back it up too. Cool, huh? I see you're becoming a detective's gone done you some good. Looks like those detective novels have had an effect on you. In that case, there's not a moment to lose. Poisson, here we come! Poisson. Too slow. Is that even how you're supposed to pronounce that? I am curious. This place looks deserted. Guess all the survivors must have evacuated already. All that Mar just... there are signs of death. How do you pronounce that, Marcia? Say. Could Farina really be here? Well, let's try to find her as soon as possible. Croissant, I guess. Mara Chasse. <laughs> Marshals, Marshal, well, I can't pronounce it. Huh? That's Farina, right over there. She really is here, all on her own. I shall see. <laughs> Cheap and tasty chop suey. <laughs> They're never going to fix that. <laughs> it's chop suey. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just give up? This is all meaningless. What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Give up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what can I even do other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over? Oh, Farina. Uh, who, who's that? Don't worry, Oh my god. It's just us. <laughs> they spawned out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so it is you, blonde traveler from another land. Why, I almost thought you were summoned from that mob of my ignorant subjects. Come to kneel and beg for my forgiveness. Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? The tear stains on your face are obvious. Aww. Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, oh, <laughs> I remember. The show at the Opera House earlier this morning was so moving. I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> Who did that uncivilized rabble think they were? Disturbing my enjoyment of the arts. They even dare to tout their archon. I must teach them a lesson. <laughs> I can just imagine their twisted and frustrated faces once they realize that I'm nowhere to be found. She's kind of delusional. Oh, and I'm sure Nouvellette and those people from the Marsh to say Phantom are freaking out right next to them, too. <laughs> Is she okay? I... Uh, of course not. Hey, there she is! The Hydro Archon's over there! Get her! Quick, after her! Uh, Farina, those people seem to be after you! Uh, they are? <laughs> They're just some rabid fans who want to cut the line because they haven't been able to meet me in person, aren't they? Oh, they're going to cut something much more than the line, dear. Mm, that's against the rules. I can't let them get their way. Run! Run, you fool! Uh, Farina just ran off! Quick, we have to catch up with her! 
V is so good. Off with her head. Yuma. Some music. Damn. They lost her already? I like Animal Traveler. I got lazy to shift it into Hydro. This should be the place, right? Hey, Farina! There's a good hiding spot over here! Quick, come to Paima before the rest of them catch up to you! Uh, wh what? What is this place? What? Hurry, they're almost here! Fine, fine. I suppose haste is warranted. Lead the way. Goodbye. Is your anime more Aether C6? I think so. Should be. World's worst chasers. Oh, it's like watching a prop hunt event. I went <sighs> <sighs> <Pilots> exhausted. <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I totally thought they had caught me. Uh, no, I mean, I merely gave in to the sheer enthusiasm they displayed. <laughs> this place is not what I call soundproof, so you might want to lower your voice and as well as lower as your... Uh, and as well lower your copium. Thanks. Uh, you're right. Yep. That's a good girl. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what's happening? The ground's shaking. Is it an earthquake? Me after running for three minutes. Yeah. A quake of this kind preceded the flooding in Poisson, didn't it? Uh-oh. It can't be. It's happening again. Uh-oh. Well, there's no need to worry too much about that. Nivellette's made some emergency plans, so the evacuation should go a lot smoother this time. Should. Yeah. I hope you're right. Uh-huh. But the people of Poisson, they've already... As Serena finally reached her limit, then there's how Mother Ash will feel, and she's starting to look far less stiff. You begin to talk amongst yourself as Farina slowly calms down. It's true. I've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds of years. Oh God. I once had informants all over to VAT, searching for clues and feeding information back to me. The Oceanids? I'm not gonna pronounce it like that, the Oceanids. I've tried all kinds of ways too to hold back the sea. Anything to keep the coastline from advancing. But all my efforts proved to be futile in the end. Really, the truth has been clear to me for a very long time. We cannot make an enemy of the divine. No matter what we do, the will of the heavenly principles will have its way, and the prophecy shall be fulfilled. I refuse to pronounce it as Oceanids. You can have my head on a guillotine. <laughs> Give up. <sighs> I do love the sound of that phrase. Aww. It would mean finally coming to terms with fate. But also, for me to finally be free. But that would also mean that all hope would disappear. Indeed. I've thought about giving up so many times. Especially after we almost lost Poisson. Fate is really unreasonable, isn't it? It has no heart and obeys no rules. The prophecy has only just started to come true. And so many people have already lost their lives. <sighs> but just now, it all became clear to me. I still don't have the right to come to terms with fate on behalf of everyone else. As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. Yes, let's don't go worry. Farina, I believe I, in you. I will keep hope alive for everyone until the very end. Yes. <sighs> Oh, we can well, do it. That's enough for now. <laughs> I don't to play oh the God. stricken maiden. But honestly, considering my rank and station, that wasn't a good fit at all. <laughs> <laughs> Me accidentally opening up to someone at 3 a.m. realizing that I did not want them to see the ugly side of me. <laughs> She's me for real. <laughs> when you accidentally open 
for sure, but you're supposed to be the mysterious NPC character. <laughs> oh my god. No, but I get it. I get <laughs> She's such a mood, but I get it. <laughs> when you when you want to be that mysterious friend, <laughs> that mysterious put together friend, but you accidentally overshare. <laughs> Relatable. I understand. It's okay for you. Know, this is a safe space. <laughs> we understand the delusion. <laughs> Take I love her. I love her I so much. She's seriously. so cute. How could I possibly let Fontaine fall to the whims of trivial prophecy? This is the vibe that you get at 3 a.m. where you just say that I'm going to fix my life and then like wake up at 2 p.m. the next day. That's such a mood. <laughs> Paimon could have sworn you were actually being honest And you had to deadly trauma dump! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're running out of time. We can't just go back to square one like this. I have to get more information. Farina, Farina, my... Aww. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. Allegedly. Share my burden. That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be <laughs> my duty alone. I see. Just share it with me. I'm what you call a witness. Oh? Where <gasps> he's using Zhang Li's title for him. A witness? Huh. Yes, I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. That's true. And if Tevat is, yes, I'm planning to finish it. a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> if that's the case... There's no time left, please, for you to just spit it out. <sighs> The witness drop. I... She's trauma dumping. this huh. huh ladies and gentlemen this concludes my opening performance what oh no oh no really Wait... Shit... Okay, alright. I'm gonna watch this, I'm not gonna... It was a trap, but... You know, I didn't want her to actually not trust us. Fuck... Really? Shit, I'm so sorry. Fuck! Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry that I'm reacting like this, but... As someone that doesn't trust it easily, that's like the worst feeling <laughs> ever. Anyway, let's go. Now, without Let us begin. Ado, we may proceed to the trial of our god. Oh no. Ah, so, this is what it is. I'm yes, so sorry, I'm so you sorry. You deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stakes. Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of justice, the embodiment of justice itself. Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? I mean, may I interpret these words Ooh, he's as your here. refusal to stand trial? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your oh my god. through a duel. Oh my god, no shot. You, you would draw your blade against a god? Oh my god. <clears throat> oh. I see. It seems like you have made up your mind. Yeah. 
They just want to fight. Oh. Oh. Paimon can't believe it. She... She just surrendered. Hmm. What the heck is going on? Did I just see an Archon surrender to a... A human? Wow. How utterly humiliating. Ew. Lady Farina, what is the meaning of this? Uh, it would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. To be clear, the raising of both hands is not always an indication of surrender. Looking for excuses again, huh? Just kind of copium, but you know. I raised my hands just now to indicate my acceptance of the trial. No duel shall be necessary. I will admit that I've been running away for a long time. I'm oh. sorry, everyone. I was unable to protect the people of Poisson. Oh? It is my duty to stand trial for my crimes. You are not the only ones to be disappointed in me. I, too, am exceedingly disappointed in myself. <sighs> But now, it is time for the Hydro Archon to show you her courage and resolve. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice! Ooh. This time, I will protect you. Trial time! Applaud and rejoice! One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera Epicles is now unfolding before your eyes. Mark my words, this shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine! The Let's trial go. of the Hydro Archon, Fosalor, will now begin! Let's go. The pop off. Oh, now we're making history. <laughs> Why does it feel like Farina just took over the whole thing? <laughs> like, come on! Didn't she just get forced to stand trial for her crimes? Just as well. Also, even though she's Hello, still Anthony. Super dramatic, Welcome to the chat. She is taking this seriously. Let the show this begin, time, right? folks. Let All the right, show then. begin. Who will be my opponent in this trial? Me. The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Oh no. Oh no. Is that so? Very well. Then please speak, witness of Tivat, my accuser and fated opponent. Oh my god. We were so close to getting here to tell us the truth and it turned... Oh my gosh. It's okay though, as long as we can defeat Freedom in court, we'll still have a chance to figure everything out. <laughs> There's so much gaslighting at the US just This hurts. This hurts so much. Also, please allow me to ask as a final question before the Ouch. trial begins. Salt. Just how much work in the trial. did you do to force me onto this stage? Well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. Yes. Truly. I can go over the tasks assigned Truly. to the Spina di Rosula, since they were rather straightforward and easy. Navia, the president of the Spina di Rosula. This is live. Yes, Most we are witnessing a live in disturbance this morning. Were oh? my subordinates? They changed into plain clothes and came to the opera house as regular audience members, waiting for the perfect opportunity Let them to incite cake. insurrection against you. The people's resentment against their Archon has been building as more and more of the prophecy is fulfilled. A spark was all we needed to turn smoldering anger into a flame. Ooh. Moreover, according to our understanding and analysis of you, when something like that occurred, you would likely flee the, the scene and aliens. head to Poisson by yourself. Poisson. So, we arranged for a second group to lie in wait there. Oh. So, you mean... The ones who scoured the settlement for me were also from the Spina. Mm -hmm. And their goal was to force you to step into the giant magic box so you may personally participate in the greatest oh magic gosh. performance in all of Fontanian history. 
I love this. Right. I love when characters that just like was a magic box rather than come together. I love it. As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used when I first performed at the Opera Epic Club. Okay, Taylor. <laughs> the volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude, oh. and the distance it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and Arrhenius. It's cargo, of course. Oh, so she believed that there would be no reason to leave the box because she thought that there was a disaster in Poissant. Okay. Was an Archon instead of a human. Damn. My Pop thanks, Farina. Without I love your him. help, we could never have pulled off such an extraordinary performance. He's probably taller than me. Uh, Isn't You're initiating welcome. a riot a crime even if it's faking? Of course, this performance yes. was only made possible with father's support. The House of the Hearth spent a massive amount of labor in Mora to pull this off. Let's go, Fatui! Pop off! I should not say that! <laughs> we had to select a location, construct the giant magic box, dig a tunnel, and open up a path Luni to got the his water. vengeance! It was Let's a go. lot of work for all of us. We had so, that support. Logistics words, is massive. The earthquake that we felt within the giant magic box was just a normal <laughs> tremor from the transportation of the Fatui having house? clutched this whole quest, That's true. Right. It wasn't a <laughs> Fatui coming out of exactly. nowhere and saving the day. <laughs> let's not have the yeah, let's not have the Fatui pop off. <laughs> just a bit. Let's see what happens in the end of the Arcan quest first. <laughs> then I can the, get the have in Lauren's doing static here, such a mood. You okay. gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure that the champion duelist would be immediately ready for a fight. Also that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial may commence without a hitch. Am I right? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Let's go. Well, Florand, I must commend you for your courage. Only the most outstanding champion duelist in all of Fontaine would accept a duel with an Archon without flinching. Thank you. Truly. As for you, Traveler, I suppose your role was oh, to keep no. me distracted with conversation once you found me in Poisson. Oh, that's so You'd sad. You'd make sure that I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself as my prosecutor once we'd arrived onto the stage. No, you guessed wrong? Yeah, she's literally on a me versus the world situation. Oh? My mission was to give you one last chance. Oh. We hope that you'd share your secret with us before the magic box arrived onto the stage. <laughs> Is that so? Then I suppose I must have missed my final chance. Marina didn't deserve this, but the people didn't deserve to be it's flooded fine. either. It matters yeah, not. It's, it's a necessary done, evil. The stage is already set, so there's no reason to disappoint the audience. Let's see this trial through to the very end. Objection! Yeah, the only thing we can do now is to judge the Hydro Archon. Oh boy. So I can't help but be a little bothered by that conversation earlier. What did Farin want to say to me before Sir we Prosecutor, understood? please allow me to pass this along. Oh? This is a document that Miss Charlotte applied for and received permission to share with you during the trial. According to her, it should speed up the proceedings. Huh? Charlotte wanted to give us something? Exclusive interview that she did with us before. Girl, so she's already like... finished. Oh, wait. Nah, I feel bad then for that means this Farina, document though. is a perfect timeline of everything that's happened ever since we stepped foot in Fontaine. Oh, that's true. So in other words, we can refer to this anthology of evidence every time we want to use it for our evidence for an argument. Ooh. It's a super practical gift. Let's quickly confirm the information in it. Just think of it as a refresher, all right? Okay, sure. You defeated the Hydro Archon in the very first duel you took part in at the Opera House. That's one for the history books, all right? A murder case unfolded in the midst of Linny and Lynette's first performance at the Grand Opera House. Though they were cleared of accusations leveled against them, their identities as agents of the House of the Hearth were revealed. I didn't think that you'd wind up getting to the bottom okay. of the case I'd been following all this time. 
I guess you could also see this as a happy coincidence. It turns out the Fontanians can be dissolved by water from the primordial sea over the years. Vashe kidnapped and dissolves many young girls for his experiments to try and find a way to bring back his wife, who had been dissolved. This is the first time oh, Jesus. Had a <laughs> child jump scare with the oratories. Even the Hydro Archon can't figure it out. Though Nevelet believed the child to be innocent, the oratories judged him as guilty in the, in the end, and even Farina didn't know why. A Fatui Harbinger. She's an extraordinary Ooh, person. We have a portrait of Arlequina, playable character. What? Sorry, huh? What? Arlequina, Arlequina, playable portrait. Sorry. During the diplomatic meeting with the Nave, she revealed that she had already probed Farina on her own and believed it is possible that not only is Farina not really the Archon, but that she is actually afflicted with some sort of curse. Nah, nah, NBC, right? Yeah, true. Oh, no, 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 That's a cap, that's a cap, that's a cap, that's a cap. The fortress of Miracle was almost destroyed in a single day. Opium! That I didn't witness that scene personally will always be a source of professional regret, I think. The entrance of the primordial sea. Bleh. The primordial sea is sealed beneath the forbidden zone in the fortress of Meripede, and recently the primordial sea has nearly broken out. It was only temporarily pushed back by Nervalet's power. Okay. According to Monsieur Nervalet, oh both child and that whale should have been in the primordial sea at that time. You saw a child floating in the sea in a dream, as well as an indescribable massive whale. I nearly lost my awesome friend Navia. To be honest. That still gives me shivers. I was screaming before being playable, that's true. While exploring the ruin near Poisson, it began to collapse and Navia fell into the water containing primordial seawater. Only the protection of the dead members have disappeared. <laughs> what do you mean, dead members? They're current, they're alive and well. What are you talking about? Only the protection of the dead members of the Spina de Rizzo prevented her from dissolving. The words of someone as extraordinary as a witch can probably only be truly understood when something surreal happens to you. And communicated with you by connecting your consciousness, sis. She believes the prophecy will certainly happen, but that you need not give up all hope. They dead dead. They're with us in spirit. <laughs> Sir Copium, let me have the some. Guys, the they're not dead. Guys, they're part of the consciousness. The How could you say good. something like that? <laughs> Come on, nerdy I'm not coping. There's no need to repeat all the unimportant legalese. The unimportant legalese. Just fast forward to the part where the prosecution lays out my offenses. As the defendant and the lead actress of this performance, I swear, Fontaine I still just has like the even best. Been informed of my supposed guilt in all of this. The 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 camera work for the Fontaine cutscenes are just beautiful. Of course, Move it, it is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of, of a, a god. god. However, you will need more than that to convict me of a crime. That's true. Whoa! But my charge Whoa. here is unrelated to your conduct as an archon. Whoa, Zack jump scare. Instead, I would like to charge you as a fraud who's never been the archon in the first place. Ew! 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 He speaks and he speaks the facts. Oh my god! Rod alert! Wait, what was that? Lady for real? The Zach jump scare. <laughs> Do you wonder if the heat I can see all the information on Freedom and Nervalet and Ermansel makes interesting food for thought? Yeah! What if we just go back to the Ermansel? Hey, I came here thinking that we were going to try the Hydro Archon for forsaking our duty, but. Fraud Arena! She's not our Archon at all? Charge accepted. Charge accepted. Ooh. The true Archon is in what that to me. Lady Farina, do you plead guilty to the charge? Uh, uh, ooh. Lady Farina. I plead not guilty. How can I be guilty? But what if you just show us your cool Hydro stuff, you know? There is no way that I... Fosalor, otherwise known as Farina de Fontaine, a member of the Seven and the Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine, could be anything other than your true Archon. This is giving me the same vibes as, like, the Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, and everything in between, you know what I mean? Yeah, even though Lady Farina can be rather eccentric, isn't it going too far to doubt her very identity? I mean... 
Yeah, I've never questioned her identity either. Sure, Lady Farina can be super useful. <laughs> but, but what grounds does that prosecutor have to make such a huge claim? Watch and I have cause to believe that common sense will prevail in this case. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever since they were born. There would be no fooling their memory. See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided to show me its favor! Ooh. Are you sure you want to commit to a charge that will never be upheld? Okay, I'm just going to not look at chat for a bit while I'm going through this, so... Good luck, folks. If you wish to drop the case, I can promise you as the God of Justice that you will not have to face trial for making a false accusation. We will we'll treat, treat everything, everything that's happened, happened as a dramatic, dramatic spectacle, spectacle and move on with our lives. lives. What do you say to that? I say to that, no. Huh. An argument with near impossible odds, huh? We have to not only refute Farina's claims, but also overturn the long-held beliefs of the people. The people only see you as their Archon because that's their long-held belief, okay? Well, I tried to give you the chance to surrender. If you must persist, then let me ask. If you believe I'm not the Archon, then what manner of being do you think I am? A queen. Kappa. <laughs> and if I was not the Archon, then how did I manage to live for over 500 years? Objection! Somebody bring in the Yaksha! Yaimiko! Wander! Albedo! I mean, I don't know how old they are, but like, you know, they're ancient. <laughs> Excuse me. Farazan is like... Trap... was trapped somewhere, but it... you know... They ain't wrong. Oh my god. Irrelevant. Okay, we know we're gonna go with that. <laughs> Bring forth the Chi Chi! Accidentally <laughs> summons the whole crowd of non humans. <laughs> they all just like come out of nowhere, right? It's like, ah, to that I present to you. Literally everyone else from Liyue mons that in Izuma and Sumeru. That's like 500 plus years old. <laughs> First of all, you. you may be a member of another long life which would allow you to naturally possess an extended lifespan. And second, second of all, all, even if that wasn't the case, there could be other ways to extend your life. Such as... <gasps> A curse! Flashback to Conria. <laughs> Who gave you that idea? Was it the knave? You'd sink so low as to use a harbinger's words against me. <clears throat> it doesn't matter who gave us the information. What matters is the veracity of the claim. Veracity, what a big word. A curse. I once thought it possible that the aura of an archon might naturally <laughs> See how resemble the he type appears of curse. Immediately. But in light of this claim, Perhaps what I sensed was not your divinity, but a curse after all. Damn. You sensed it too, huh, Nervalette? So, Farina, instead of an Archon, could you just be a cursed human? Lady Farina is actually a human? And to that I say, we stab her. <laughs> well, it is true that it's extremely difficult to tell humans and gods apart just by looking at them. It's not impossible. <laughs> oh? Okay. Bias Judge Nirvana. Well, uh, don't start celebrating too early now. Even if I have been carrying a curse like you said, how does that prove that I am merely a human being? Besides, everyone knows that the main difference between a human and a god is the possession of authority. Gods can do what humans cannot. That's why they're worshipped as gods. Getting drunk is not For one of those restrictions. For centuries, manifestations of my authority have served the nation of Fontaine. Mm -hmm. One need only to turn their eyes towards the oratrice mechanique de Annalise Cardinal in this very <laughs> opera house. Or consider the endemidium so that is sorry. used in every aspect of life. I'm sorry. The only thing going through my head right now is like the oratrice mechanique de Annalise Cardinal meme. <laughs> Yes, but like, show us the gnosis! What about that, homie? Free actually has no control. 
Okay. What if we just like spam that? Let's spam on say. Okay. Do we like get another cutscene? Oh, to never mind. Reference the Oratrice. But weren't you as confused as all the rest of us when the Oratrice declared Child to be guilty without any proof? Ha! Huh. Otherwise, Check me. you should have come up with a good explanation for that by now. Didn't I make myself clear at the time? The decisions of the gods are naturally difficult for humans to comprehend. There is no need to provide an explanation. Yes, that is why when the Oratrice considered him guilty, despite not doing everything, and the fact that you were also confused, and that means that you are not able to comprehend the Oratrice, then at least... I can't see him in a straight face. Therefore, you are human, Farina, by your own logic. I feel like I'm debating for a thesis objection. Lady Farina. I believe a reminder of your current circumstances is in order. While the court is in session, the principles of justice and the law must come before all else. While you are an Archon, you are also first and foremost the defendant in this trial. Ooh. You will prove yourself unable to defend against the prosecution's charges if you continue to withhold vital information against the rules of the court. Oh? I never thought. You'd use that kind of rhetoric against me. Well, I did. That was no trick of rhetoric, Lady Farina. I've merely reiterated the rules of the court. Rules that all should respect and follow. <laughs> Bet. So, you neither knew why Child was declared guilty, nor did you understand the structure and operations of the Oratrice. Instead of having been created by you, the manifestations of authority you mentioned have been Ooh. made by the real Hydro Archon, haven't they? A the real Hydro Archon. Light. Well, now you're really losing me. It is true that I did not know why the Oratrice gave out a guilty verdict that day. Uh -huh. But the Oratrice handed out that verdict unilaterally. And it has been operating independently ever since it was first created. So how would you say that this is a manifestation of your authority if you have no authority over it? I'm genuinely confused. You can't... You can't argue that just because a divine creation is flawed, that the god behind it must also be no god at all. So you're saying you're wrong. <laughs> oh my god. She's like me trying to defend the paper. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best here, okay? She's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. Seems like she's confident that we won't be able to produce proof that she has no power over the Oratrice. Sure, we can put the Oratrice aside for now, but then Miss Farina, could you give us a brief demonstration of your power as an Archon? My power as an Archon? There are many ordinary citizens in the audience. How can I just carelessly demonstrate the formidable power of an Archon? I mean, Venti can do it, and John Lee can do it, and then A can do it, and, you know, Nahida can do it. Why can't you? If that poses a concern, I'm prepared to extend my protection to the audience. <laughs> the source is, I made it the fuck up. <laughs> um, you don't need to go that far. A brief demonstration of your power over Hydro should be quite harmless. Surely an Archon can at least match the capacities of a human with a vision. I... Uh... Ooh, she is breaking! Aren't you the Hydro Archon? Ooh. Or is it that you can't even wield the power of Hydro, much less the authority of a god? Damn, it's actually kind of sad. Like, imagine if you were, if you couldn't, if you couldn't use Hydro at all. Like, it would, <laughs> if she was, if she had a Hydro vision, that would be like, okay. Okay, so you do have Hydro power, but imagine being so pathetic that you don't have that. Are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? Indemnidium! Yes! It's all because of Indemnidium! Oh my god! All Archons derive their power from the faith of the people, and I've converted the people's faith in justice into Indemnidium! She's insane! <laughs> I love her. Thus did I give up all of my divine power to provide everyone with energy for their daily lives. Have you ever seen a more magnanimous god? Are you okay? <laughs> Isn't that a huge stretch? 
Random bullshit. Go. <laughs> yeah. No matter how generous an archon can be, how could they give up She's all their power? She's doing her best. Can a god with no power even still be called a god? Wait, I need to double check if my if. Wait, I need to double check something. Hold on. I'm so sorry for interrupting this, but I need to double check if my paper actually submitted to my professor. <laughs> this is an emergency. I actually need to check. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Speaking of things that need to be need to be predicted, I have to just triple check that she actually received my paper. Okay, crisis averted. Anyway, let's go back. Ooh! It seems like nobody's buying for Rina's excuse. Okay. Hey, come now, everyone! Please don't stare at <laughs> yeah, sorry, me! Yeah, sorry, it was a little night that I'm texting. I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? The one that you loved! <laughs> Shouldn't you want to believe in me? Oh... Please? You've got to believe me! No... If what the prosecutor said is true, she really has committed a grave offense. Did she deceive all of us? And all of our parents and grandparents too? Oh, no. And all of our ancestors? Ever since they were born? Enough! That's enough! It's got cold. Tell me then, if I'm not the real Hydro Archon, then who is? Me, Char. <laughs> if you have no evidence of another Hydro Archon's existence, nor can you find anyone who can back up their claim to be such, then what grounds have you to say that I'm not actually the real deal? I present to you... Nigeria. Wow, she came up with yet another argument! Ugh, how can we refute her now? Seems like she really doesn't want to give up. <laughs> if we get proof that she isn't there, can we try to prove that she is just a human if she's only human? Irrelevant, irrelevant. Irrelevant. Now let's just go this way, see what happens. It's not that one. I don't think it's that one either. Well, <laughs> I'm going to press that. It has oh, it... been established that all Fontanians can and dissolve all in water human. from the primordial sea. And that means... Since you insist on claiming Wait. to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use right here and now to eliminate all suspicions of you being the latter. Random <laughs> bullshit, go. <laughs> Miss Navia, please apply to serve as a temporary attorney for the prosecution before addressing the court. Ooh. Though you act in partnership with the prosecutor, you must still adhere to proper procedure. Uh, super sorry, Monsieur Chief Justice. Super sorry. I swear this really will be the last time that I'll speak out of turn. Now, I've brought some seawater from Poisson. What? As everyone knows, a massive flood struck the area. We're going to dissolve Farina? Taking many lives, including those of some of my closest friends. Oh. So, Miss Farina, would you dare to touch some of the seawater? If we are to believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon, touching the seawater would have no effect on you. I'm just like that, she disappears in your case. But if you don't dare to touch it, then we would have basically proved the reverse. At least you get the sea water oh, without being dissolved. Probably the traveler. But after the disaster at Poisson, nobody wants to see any more people dissolve. I do hope you'll act prudently and choose the simpler path of admitting guilt. Please. Navia from the Spina di Rasula. The Spina has governed Poisson for many years. I guess her suggestion is valid. If Lady Farina is indeed just a human, she's probably Fontanian like all the rest of us. Would she really dare to try? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, that was also what I was thinking. Like, wouldn't the primordial seawater also be able to... Like, there's no proof that if you're uh, if you're the Archon, you're not affected by the seawater. Or is there? I'm not quite sure either. Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecution. 
as it falls outside Honestly, the Honestly, what of if she's the Hydra Archon, proceedings. but she just gets dissolved? Like, what do we do now? <laughs> what do we do? Well, of course you had to tell her that. But refusing, refusing to, participate to participate is basically the same as a confession of guilt. She's just staring at the water without saying a single word. It really does seem like she's quite terrified of it. I mean, I would too. That could only mean... What's going on? Is she really planning to... That's Prophecy says the Archon won't would... dissolve. Ah, that's true. That's true, that's true. Due that could be a possibility. Risk of the test, Lady Farina, you may... <laughs> what? Is she dead? Hey! <sighs> She's not dead. She's not dead. I'm fine! Look! Look at me, everyone! Oh my, my god. I think she also wasn't here. sure. I haven't been dissolved! Will you believe me now? I really am your Archon! I'm <gasps> nothing like a normal human who would fall apart as soon as they touch this water! Really? Was this not the most obvious thing in the world? Woo! Let's go! Pop off! So Miss Siegewin, if you're present, Miss Siegewin, please come forward and attend to the defendant. Siegewin? Don't be nervous. It'll just take a few seconds. <sighs> Let me see. Mm -hmm. That should be enough. Oh my gosh. Please announce the results of your evaluation to the court, Miss Siegewin. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation and flushed skin. <gasps> Ooh. Please indicate that. Oh no. She was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to primordial seawater of a similar concentration. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This is like synth. Smart. I like it. Thank you, Miss Siegewing. Lady Farina, you may return to the defendant's stand. Oh no. Oh wait! What did she just say? I didn't get dissolved! Shouldn't that be enough to prove my innocence? You're not supposed to be dissolved. Well, considering your tendency to run from your problems, we did originally prepare a direct sample of the seawater around Poisson. Uh -huh. However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated enough to dissolve an actual human. After all, on the off chance that something entirely unexpected... So in the event that they did the opposite, she would actually be dissolved. We don't want anyone else to lose their life to the sea. Yeah, so out of regard for Farina's life, you secured a low concentration sample and asked the head nurse to serve as an expert witness. It's a great thing that the direct sample wasn't actually used. Ooh. Farina could have... Ooh, she done this. She did not I, beat the allegations. I can't believe... You... You did not beat the allegations. This is too unlike how she usually acts, unless it's actually more important for her to keep... But hadn't she given up on everything a long time ago? Listen to me! Listen to me, everyone! Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks! What happened just now didn't prove a single thing! Oh my god. Think about it! How can you conclusively prove that an Archon can't also be affected by the primordial seawater? She's not wrong. She's desperate. Oh my gosh, I, I... I don't know how to feel about this. Holy shit. Also, also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of water? <laughs> think anything she says at this point will sway anyone. Oh my god! The odds are just too stacked against her now. With all the things that have been said, Shit. Simon doesn't think there's any way left for Farina to win. 
I believe the time for arguments and presentation huh. of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final judgment. I don't think anything she says at this point will sway her to just be stacked against her now. In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. No. As a human who knowingly <sighs> deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... guilty. We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. The prophecy was fulfilled. He's sitting alone in her throne, nobody believing her. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Farina is... <coughs> huh? Hmm? What's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? Did the Oratrice just declare Farina to be innocent? No. The Oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. No. Isn't that correct then? No, it's just... you don't want it to be However, right. the exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon. Guilty. Oh... To be punished via the death sentence. Huh? My God. Uh, the the death sentence? That's actually one of the available sentences. I've always thought that it was just a myth. The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court. Yes, enough, the fucking it's ads. been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of there justice. There you go. What an unexpected twist. Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? We just wanted to use the trial to show her the seriousness of things so she'd tell us the truth. There you go. Let's escalate this quickly. This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, as well as its recommendations for criminal sentences, is this sentence really appropriate for the crimes that have been committed? Instead of Farina, the Oratrice rendered judgment on the Hydro Archon. Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro Archon in the first place. But now, the Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the Hydro Archon. What does this mean? Um... Excuse me, if I may interrupt. Is the trial still going? Fremine! Oh, you finally made it! I assume this means you've completed your mission? Mm-hmm. Any mission Father assigns to me will always be top priority. He found it. Is that the first prophecy slate? He found it. Huh. So the knave privately arranged for Fremine to try and find the missing slate! I looked everywhere, and finally found it at the bottom of the sea. It took me a long time to get around some dangerous stretches of water. But... has the trial already concluded? Then... doesn't that mean I've come too late? Oh no... Oh no, 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 it's okay, Father it's okay. will be okay. disappointed in me. Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremine. It's okay. Please allow me to review the record left on the slate. Hmm. Traveler, I believe that you have already seen the other existing slates. I would like you to come here and confirm their contents.
I believe I have now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's lost history. Huh? Isn't the Hydro Archon just guilty of deceiving her people? Oh, wait, no, that's Farina, and we've already proven that she's not the Hydro Archon. Uh, so when you say Hydro Archon, do you mean the real Hydro Archon we've been kinda talking about? In truth, everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until this point can be traced back to the contents of these stone slates. However, I'm uncertain as to how much sense they currently make to you. An association between the contents of the slates and the events in her life. Okay. Let's try to recall the contents of the other three stone slates. Paima will do her best to help you remember. Okay. You can find some scenarios related to each of the stone slates' contents and incidents recorded in the interview notebook. There you can verify said content. As the verification process continues, the, font the fountain level, water level, and the menu interface will rise. When you finish, when you have finished verifying all the stone slates, the truth behind the prophecy shall be revealed. The first stone slate describes what you just said. It seems to show the previous Hydro Arc. Does that mean that Fontanians are transformed oceanids? Oh, Paima wasn't expecting that. But the second stone slate shows Celestia floating in the sky and the Hydro Archon and her people worshipping it together. But the heavens still brought judgment down upon them. This must be the point when the Hydro Archon and the Fontanians were branded with their original sin. Does this mean that the original sin and the Hydro Archon sin are the same thing? The third slate shows the Hydro Archon sinking into the sea surrounded by many people. Huh. That reminds Paimon, didn't we also watch that happen to someone else? Well, the fourth slate is the prophecy the Fontanians have been talking about. People dissolving into the sea, the Hydro Archon crying on her throne, and so on. We didn't believe that such a crazy disaster could happen at first, did we? But after that incident, it was just a question of when and not if. What is about to take place has all happened before. And the true and the original sin cast down on the people of Fontaine by Celestia has recorded on the stone slates. We know from the case of the serial disappearances of young women that Fontanians can be dissolved in primordial so seawater. And the first stone slate tells us that long ago, the Hydro Archon used her power Traveler to turn voice lines go into <laughs> humans. This might be the reason that Fontanians can dissolve. It's not as simple as falling into the sea. When the stone slates show the people gathered around the Hydro Archon in the sea, are you liking could the that Arkansas be to the it's same so thing? Good, honestly. Like. None of them are catching up. That doesn't- Wait, what was this one again? Israel is ending the common prophecy soon. Fontaine's immune system. The prophecy from the stone slates found its way into society. <laughs> I think that to be a after three years. not many people believed it at first. The fortress of Meropede was nearly flooded with primordial seawater, which we know can cause Fontanians to dissolve. It seems increasingly likely that the prophecy may come true. If we hadn't dealt with it in time, things could have gone very badly. They'll dissolve into the primordial sea but won't cease to exist. Their essence will flow in the seawater, converge, and take the form of an oceanid. The Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court Shocking everyone present! Hmm... Perhaps this means that her sin was actually Fontaine's original sin! Oh... Navia fell into the 
water inside those ruins, and she nearly dissolved. She was surrounded by the people of Poisson in a court within her consciousness, and was forced to take part in a trial meant to make her stay. The eruption of the primordial sea at the fortress of Meripede was the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass no matter what. I love this quest. This, like this specific quest after the fortress of Meripede was beautiful. Yes, the this whole people come back as OC units. Be verified by recent I think events. we also saw that with the Nightmare. If we combine what we know so together, pretty. loads of truths should come to light. Like... Damn. Damn, that's good. Huh? Oh, Paimon gets it now! So that's how you can make sense of it! But... Then it feels like... We're going to have to share some truly shocking revelations! Let's hear them. The first lead reveals that Fontingans are not real humans. Incredible! Linny, did you hear that? We're... not real humans. Damn, we're not real people. All Fontanians were originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon, with Oceanids as their basis. The evidence for that can be found in how only Fontanians could dissolve in primordial seawater, and how all the girls Vache dissolved were also turned into Oceanids. Whoa. Oh, and according to Navia, when she was about to get dissolved, she also saw everyone gathered around for a trial. All, all of them in the shape just... of Oceanids. Indeed. The second slate reveals that the crime of the Hydra Archon was her creation of Fontanians from Oceanids. Oh. Yeah, and it follows from the content of the first slate that she probably angered Celestia by creating humans without prior permission. Right, this has something to do with the creation of humans in terms of... I can't remember who told me this. But Egeria created humans with the help of a shade. A shade of life. So does that mean that she didn't get permission from the primordial one? That could also explain why the Oratrice judged the Hydro Archon to be guilty. It's to account for that ancient sin. <laughs> the Hydro Archon's true sin was creating us? Damn. And yet, after many hundreds of years, the Hydro Archon's creations have turned around to try to judge the Archon within the opera Epicles. <sighs> the twists of history are often the most unexpected of all. As for the third slate, I'm still convinced that it should come after the fourth slate. Yeah! Isn't the image here just like when Navia fell into the sea? So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling into the sea once the prophecy has been fulfilled in the fourth slate? The fourth slate depicts the fulfillment of the prophecy as it's already widely known. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain Oh yeah, I forgot that the, the primordial seawater Only gives then will the life. sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Did Paimon get all that right? Yeah, Celestia does seem really angry about the creation You've of made things some keen that are deductions. inorganic. I must say, given how much you still don't know, it is impressive that you've already managed to connect so many pieces of the truth. However, while you were able to decode all the information on the slates, They've also been etched with an additional layer of hidden information using a different power source. When we were at the ruins, I tried to decipher the hidden information recorded in the slates. But since we only had three slates at the time, I was unable to come to a full conclusion. Now that the slate collection is complete, I shall make another attempt to decipher the narrative recorded within. If everything goes well, we should finally be informed of the unadulterated truth. I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine as well. Yeah, that means it's free. I will try to briefly summarize it for you. Your hypotheses regarding the origin of Fontanians and the sin of the Hydro Archon 
were both correct. Uh huh. In the Fontaine of old, the previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning Ooh. of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. Uh huh. The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings, and wishing to have those experiences for themselves, expressed to the Hydro Archon their desire to become of a similar kind. However, even though water as an element is intricately linked with the power of life, the Hydro Archon, as one of the seven, did not possess the authority to create a new form of human life. Because only the Shades were able to do that, or at least they have the authority. Not one to give in, she eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars by oh, appropriating no. the power of this planet's primordial sea. She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanid's blood vessels, creating humanoid mimics in the process. But if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from the primordial sea, the power within their bodies would escape these artificial restraints and return to the sea. As a result, so, so, their forms so would collapse, dead. and they would be reverted to their original forms as Oceanids. I see. Oh. Of course, the Hydro Archon never received permission from the Heavenly Principles to create a new human race. Yes. And thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the Primordial Sea. That is the true history of how the people of Fontaine first came into being. So you... I... We were all Oceanids before we turned into human beings? That's way too much information for me. I think I'm just going to pretend that I never heard a single thing. He's, a, he's me for real. <laughs> me as a Genshin character. I I agree. Osmosis is a killer. Wait, but if that's the truth, we can't let the Hydro Archon be sentenced to death. After all, her only sin was creating us. Allegedly. This really might be too much information for your regular Fontanian. But it does answer a lot of our questions. That's true. Alas, your hypothesis regarding the third and <laughs> Wait, fourth so all of the citizens of Fontaine are frauds? The slate's respective all positions water. are, in fact. So they correct. are in the correct order. What is the third slate supposed to represent then? A key point of the visual on the third slate is how all the individuals depicted in the water are humans rather than Oceanids. They have not been dissolved, which implies that the water depicted in this slate is not water from the primordial sea. I see. The nation of Fontaine is the nation of Hydro, as well as the You're nation water. of Trials You're and water. Justice. You're all water. Instead of being the literal You're element, what? the water in the scene <laughs> symbolizes judgment Yikes. and justice. You may also recall Navia's experience. When she fell into the sea, her consciousness was surrounded by that of many others who intended to hold a trial to determine her fate. Therefore, the meaning of the third slate is that the people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon at the Court of Justice. What does this sound like? <laughs> I see. Okay. Yes. It refers so to our this, present situation. So the fourth situation. hasn't happened yet, then. I think I'm following now. So, what you're saying is, even though we decided to put on this trial to avoid fulfilling uh -oh. the prophecy, in truth, everything we've done has happened exactly as the prophecy foretold. Uh-oh, and that means so the fourth slate hasn't happened yet. We're the ones making sure it comes true. Well, what should we do? It feels like there's no way out of this. Huh. No matter what, the prophecy will be fulfilled. Oh, shit. Is this what it feels like to be a prisoner of fate? If that's the case, does that mean the scene in the fourth slate will also be fulfilled soon? Traveler, I would like to point out another small fallacy in your deductions. Okay. About the fourth slate, you probably thought that the eruption of primordial seawater beneath the fortress of Meripede served as the surest sign that the Drowning prophecy was about to come to pass, yes? However, I believe that rather than being a sure sign, that eruption could in fact only be a small warning of something far worse to come. Man, I don't want to think of that. As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already encountered it once before. Could it be? It's... This eruption was just a small warning of the things to come. 
child. We must find the root cause of the disaster. It's the whale. It's Tartalia. Back at it again. To flood another nation. But this time, by association. And completely accidentally. <laughs> that doesn't... That doesn't... <laughs> Watch. That doesn't... That doesn't... <laughs> it was both dream. Child back and at it again reality. to accidentally flood another nation by association. <laughs> if we're talking about a true culprit, that can only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? <laughs> the truth. It wasn't me. The original sin. It wasn't me. The trial. And the root cause of the disaster. Child. What's her. <laughs> Have you solved the mystery yet? Yes. It was child all along. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not his fault. <gasps> oh no! Wait, what? Oh shit! What? What? Major, that it was also the one the child saw when he was young. So we've met it at last. I understand very well why it has chosen to make an appearance here. For dramatic purposes, of course. That whale does not belong to Tevat. It is a monster that has traversed the stars, weeping all the while. Oh my gosh, he did the reverse Bennett. It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. That is the main cause for the rising sea levels. And once it has finished consuming all of the we have to get him back, please. Sea, its next step will be. You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of Oceanids, she filled their Ooh, blood vessels with primordial seawater. It's trying to eat everyone. Precisely, that whale finds the blood of Fontanians nigh impossible to resist. Therefore, when it left the primordial sea. He decided to make its next stop a packed God, opera house so full beautiful. of food. Look at it. Food in the form of Fontanians. Uh, we just barely managed to push it back, right? <laughs> in that case, won't it come back to target the people again once Ex it's managed to recover its strength? Excuse me, we is not the word. We will not belittle Tartalia's sacrifice like that. That Jaws 3. Correct. Indeed, it is more <laughs> accurate to we? say that we should thank that Harbinger for buying us some time. Yes. Without him, P the whale off would have likely come onto land far Woo. sooner. <laughs> is, the, is this we in the room with us right now? No, he's currently fallen into the pits. We have to actually save the... Uh, we have to save him, okay? We have to save him, we have to save him, we have, the to, way save he him. Looked, have to save him. <laughs> he must have been fighting the creature for quite a long time. Oh my gosh, pop off Tertalia. That battle maniac. We've always known that he had a special connection with that whale, but we definitely didn't expect it to help us out like this. Anyway, now that we know that this whale is the actual cause of the disaster recorded in the prophecy, all we need to 
could do to stop the prophecy would be to find a way to beat it up, right? Yes. It is too late. What do you mean? It had already absorbed too much of the Primordial Sea's energy before we could notice it. At this point, it has become practically integrated with the sea itself. No. No, we can, we can stop it. Even if the entirety of Tevat were to be destroyed, it could still survive and swim off towards some other world. Jesus Christ, look at that, it's massive. That, that's not something I will accept. Are you willing to come with us? We've already done everything we can, and we even found the true culprit. We've come so far. You can't just tell me that the last hurdle is some impossible foe. That's just not- Indeed, that's not how a grand performance should end. I'll fight it to the end, no matter what. Are they all coming down with us? So the prophecy will be fulfilled no matter what, huh? The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, could things be happening in hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall? Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tevat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. Prophecy will be fulfilled, there was still be a way to save everyone. Did I miss something? What was it she was about to say to me in the last moment with the giant box? What is her real secret? Oh! oh what's happening with the oratories? I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. Could you wait just a little bit longer? Oh. Verena! Jesus Christ. No, I still need answers. <laughs> Her plane of Euthymia. Oh, Salor. You. Hello. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. That shocked expression on your face is just too amusing. I is this a different myself. voice actress? You are not Farina. Who are you? Is this. Another voice actress? Or is this her? Whoa, that's fascinating. Just the amount of range is beautiful then. Ah, right, the sweet look away from sound chat. of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. But to answer your question, I am Fosalor. You know. The god. Fosolo, why did you deceive us? Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. Goodness, no. But I had to fool everyone else, too, if I was to stand any chance of deceiving the heavenly principles. Oh. Deceiving the heavenly the Lord. principles? It's all because of that pernicious prophecy. Dreadful, wasn't it? Everyone doomed to dissolve. Fontaine condemned to be flooded. 
One was not amused. In fact, one was positively bemused when that problem was thrust upon me by my dearest predecessor. That's the former Hydro Archon Egeria for the uninitiated. It hardly gets more disastrous than a preordained national catastrophe, now does it? She knew full well that the prophecy would surely come to pass. And as one of the seven, she also knew full well that one defies the heavenly principles at one's peril. So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather impossible situation that I found myself in. I spent a terribly long time mulling it over, alone on the ocean floor. And I was almost growing barnacles by the time I finally realized there was only one possible solution to this confounding conundrum. I had to outwit the heavenly principles, allow the prophecy to be fulfilled, ostensibly at least, while saving everyone at the same time. <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. I can <laughs> I only like assume that's why Egeria chose me as her successor. Although, looking back now, it was hardly the inheritance one dreams of. Between the task of saving the nation, the quotidian duties of the Hydro Archon, and not to mention the original sin of creating a new race of humans, I dare say she left me quite a colossal mess to clean up. <sighs> but one can only play the hand one is dealt. I did not choose this, any more than I chose to be one of her Oceanid familiars. Oh. So you were also once one of the Oceanids, transformed into a human by Egeria's hand? Yes, I was. I always dreamed of becoming human. Ooh. And I still do, even now. In my eyes, to be human is to be part of the greatest opera ever known. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a human being. The me you see before you now is that divinity. And the human counterpart I left behind I named Farina. I see. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess, as were her shortcomings. Uh -huh. But in my eyes, Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. Anyway, so then I cursed her. Ooh, All wait, part dude. of the plan, of course. The plan to deceive the heavenly I see. principles. Okay. Gotcha. <sighs> Do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy? <laughs> so I cursed the her. The Hydra Archon <laughs> alone. <laughs> Weeping on her throne. <laughs> She's perfect. In order so that anyway. the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress. I see. To play the part of the Hydro Archon in the prophecy. Oh. Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die. But nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. Damn. Instead, she was forced to take the stage in the Opera House, to embrace the role of leading lady, to forever play the part of the god from the prophecy, all to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. But Farina is only human, isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than oh, that of any other no. ordinary human being. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. It must have been torture for her. It has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, 
I most definitely owe her an apology for it. It's been five hundred years, and all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Aww. Arena. I mean, came to. It's sufficiently strong hydro sensitivity. I can form an emotional connection just like the, the ocean at the fountain of the scene. Wait, could this be Farina's inner world? Farina, she didn't the on stage. I mean, this probably isn't Farina of her inner self. If I can directly speak to that self, I might be able to easily get what I wanted to know. Either way, this opportunity is not to be missed. Let me try talking to her. Rena. The wind rises Just... upon the gale. Oh. oh, who permitted you to come onto the stage? Now. I understand your admiration for my august self, but I must ask you to keep to the rules. All right, all right. It is not my intent to reprimand oh. you. There is no need to state your name. Just be off with you. Do not distract me from my performance. <laughs> oh, like do not jest. Can you not feel it? I am Fosalor. The eyes of countless Fontanians are upon me. I must, at all times, display the utmost elegance and nobility. When things off, there's no getting through to her, even in her heart of hearts, she's still playing the role of... So of herself as she appeared in herself and subconscious would to find a way. Following me. Dear audience, the performance is experiencing a technical difficulty, but worry not. The guards shall resolve it soon enough. The guards hide. The birds check. Check. Hey, what gives? The audience is still watching me, you know. Guards? Wait, where are the guards? Guards! Yeah! 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 Let's light it up! Chains. Why do they never miss? Oh, shackles, <laughs> chains. I'm back here. Yeah. Let the magic begin! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lynette's Lynette's thing was still there. A ticket. When did that end up getting here? Either way, it looks like the show is beginning. Afraid, I am before you. This is in persona level. I am you, you are I. Wait a moment. You're near me? How can this be? Hmm. <laughs> mirror you, huh? You know what? That's not bad. 
Let's go with that. Mirror me. W what do you wish to say? The prophecy. Have you heard of it? What prophecy? <sighs> Wait. I know. I think. I don't know why, but it's in my head somehow. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. Oh. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Oh, <laughs> very good. You know it well. What's going on? I can't seem to remember anything clearly. The only thing I know for sure is this prophecy. Will it really come to pass? <sighs> yes, it will. And that is why I've come to you. Disaster will come to Fontaine sooner or later. Ooh. Things will develop just as the prophecy declared. There is no escaping it. But doesn't that mean everyone will die? I love how I'm you can see. I'm a Fontanian just like them. Will I dissolve too? Like this Farina does not have the long back curls that sh came from her. You know what I mean? I think it's re it's a really nice um, it's a really nice removal or separation between both of them. <laughs> her oh, hair is short. Don't worry. Magical meetings exist in this world precisely to give people a chance to turn things around. It is the reason why you met me today. I will tell you how to save everyone, but you may have to suffer somewhat. Oh, oh, so there's still hope after all. Goodness, you frightened me. You spoke so much and with so much certainty. As for the suffering, well, I will admit that the first thing that came to mind was, why do I have to be the one to suffer? But if the prophecy will come true, I'll also die anyway, right? So if I've already met you as my magical meeting in this world, if there were scales with all the people of Fontaine on one side and my pain on the other, is it not obvious where the scales should tilt? <laughs> Oh, no. You truly are the perfect human. My ideal. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. Huh? Don't worry, it's nothing. Listen well. Fontaine has just lost its Hydro Archon. I need you to play a role. That of the new Archon. Who? Oh. Play as... A god? That's right. You must begin a never-ending masquerade. You must never let anyone suspect your identity. If you can keep it up, then I shall have my way of defying this prophecy. But should your identity be revealed, then all hope will be lost. But how will I do this? A human assuming the role of a god without being exposed. Don't worry. What you must do is not to turn yourself into a real god. You simply need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. Being a human yourself, I'm sure you already know what such an entity would be like. Oh no. Remember... Your true challenge will not be pursuing divinity, but contending against humanity. Um, I'm still not sure I understand, but I'll try. I'll try to do this. So, how long am I going to have to play this role? To accomplish this mission, you will have to stay on the stage for many, many years. You will endure and not grow old until your task ends. But I promise you, 
all will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial, and everyone will be saved. Five hundred years. Oh, how exciting. I'll be looking forward to it. Ooh. Ascension speech for Rina. <sighs> this is giving me beginner's guide vibes. <laughs> but, my gosh. This show. What a beautiful reckon quest. Ah, um, we need to use the stairs. Her hair is back. And she's grown it out. As well as her clothes, <gasps> yes. It's the Maison white. Cardinalise has announced my accession. But this is my first time facing the people. What should I say? To most appear like a god. To be honest, I still don't know. Perhaps I should first try to act natural. Ahem! Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the Opera Epicles. I'm sure you've all heard about how I have taken on the role of Hydro Archon. Indeed, I am Verena de Fontaine, your new Archon. Hello, it's me, ya boy. In truth, I know little about becoming a nation's new god, but it will be my honor to guide you all. As the god Fosalor, the god of justice, I shall do all within my power to lead you into an age of fairness and justice. Once again, thank you all for coming. If you should have any questions or suggestions, please send them to the Maison Cardinalise. The future of Fontaine so precious, will require yeah. us to work together, after all. I feel bad this for her. should do it. Yes. I thought I might stammer, but thankfully, I was able to convey my thoughts just fine. Okay. Yeah. And next. That's the new Hydro Archon. Ooh. Is this some kind of joke by the Maison? I would have thought that a being that surpasses humanity would be a bit more Ooh. assertive. Hey, did you hear that? She even told us to send her suggestions there at the end. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? She's being so modest. What's the difference between her and an ordinary person then? This is exactly why gods don't come to our world now. Uh, if you be quiet, me, peanut gallery. True. Didn't actually happen. She might just be a maison back puppet. Wait, what's going on? Why is everyone suspecting me of being a fake? Oh, Should have this is bad. <laughs> Your magic is educated. No I like how we're like like just fighting the Fontanians. Right. Near me said that I just need to play the role of a god as the you audience deserves to dissolve. <laughs> Calm down, Farina. Think, think. What do the people want? How would they imagine a god to speak and act? Assertive, with a strong sense of presence, one who can dispel all doubt. That is the character I'm fated to play. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I felt that in my bones. Very good, my people. Only ones such as you are deserving of my rule. Ooh, I felt that in my chest. <laughs> now, I was wondering if some weak puppet were to one day come onto the stage and claim ownership of this opera house, would the children of Fontaine follow them? <laughs> well, it seems that you would all see right through them. Having passed my test, you are qualified to witness wondrous trials alongside my august self here in this opera house. You may consider my previous act a door gift of sorts. I thought it was a debut that suited the atmosphere. I changed my mind. Please down, Miss Celestia. Let us be reintroduced. Ah, uh, so that was just a performance. How could I have forgotten that we were inside an opera house? Her personality—it's quite shocking to be honest. But I 
suppose it's a better look than before. Such a fascinating and bold deity. How wonderful. Oh no. Give him the nail. After all. Somebody throw the nail on this place. Turn them around. Best follow this flow and restart my accession speech. My dear people, whether you acknowledge me or not, whether you trust me or nay, I say to you, keep faith in your ardor for justice. Does Fontaine have a nail? They should. <laughs> we have heard it said that this nation's sins can no longer be washed away. Well, I say that justice is most fragrant when it blooms amid sin. The scales of justice should not weigh heavy in the hands of its god. On one side, it must carry fairness and justice. <laughs> and on the other, praise and applause. <laughs> May law be the prayer on our lips. May judgment be our worship. Let us light the fires and drink to the future of Fontaine. End the speech emphatically. There is no trouble in this world that justice cannot solve. All that is needed is for you, my people, to believe in it, heart and soul. So long as I... The Archon Fosalor stand within the Opera Epicles. So long as I stand before the Oratrice, I Ooh. shall even judge the gods of this world! Woo! That's how you start a dictatorship! Yeah. I think. Oh my gosh, let's go. It's the quote from the Travail Guide from three years ago. Reina for president. Clap, 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 clap. Give her an Oscar. Is how you start a cult? <laughs> that is unironically how you start a cult. <laughs> that is unironically how you start a cult. Hello. Uh, hello. One nail delivery for the people. Lady Farina, here are today's case reports as well as a summary of the follow up for your perusal. Oh boy. <sighs> Come now, was I not just at the opera house in person? Leave these kinds of things to Nervillette. Damn. Besides, none of these trials were the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, if I may be so impertinent, what kind of trial are you truly looking forward to? A magnificent, dramatic, and wondrous trial. A trial to end all things. <sighs> How could you hope to understand? That's true. I fear I lack the ability to grasp your divine thoughts. Maybe being Lady abused Arcon. by his boss. Life. No need for fright. And do not take what I said before too seriously. <laughs> Go now. Do your duties. You mean the do... The trial I await. <laughs> it will come one day. You mean give my duties to never that. That's what you're saying. But of course, such is life. Where are we going? Hello. Oh, it's... it's this. Lady Farina, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you for agreeing to see me. No Cult of Farina sounds me. like a subreddit. Rather, That's true. Thank your own sense of perseverance instead. Long have you stood in line to meet me, have you not? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that's just an inevitable consequence of my divine charm. <laughs> Alright. Deuteria is How is your son's person. illness? Uh, you remembered me, and you knew of my family, too. Uh, he is doing much better now. In fact, he is far more oh of my gosh. than I. He was the one who forced to me to be fair, I feel kind of sad that the people are kind of believing in a fraud. Dead. Like, not necessarily a fraud, <laughs> but... Oh, good. You know. Very good. If this should happen again in the future, Please do not hesitate to come and tell me. Going down to citizens' homes every so often, while not usual practice, should serve as a fine change of pace. Oh, you're such yeah, a she's a necessary God. Uh, she's a necessary Thank piece of the puzzle. On behalf of my son. Yeah, she's a fraud out of obligation. More so, like... Imagine you're trying to... 
worship a god, right? But Freyne is human. She's a fraud in a sense that she's not a god. She's doing her best. Yeah. She's put in such a weird and unfortunate predicament. Uh, lady Farina, you are the latest Yeah, she's a scapegoat. There you go, that's the word. As for the specific parameters you asked to take note of, I'm Thank you. afraid things still don't look good. She's doing her best. I see. It's <laughs> just I thought then. As your god, I did already expect this. But she's I a wanted politician. to see how far your human wisdom would allow you she's to a, analyze Would you say she's the bait? I'd say All manner of she's the mask. indicate that Let's the prophecy that. will still come to pass. Forget it. That's not something you, you need to worry Sisferina? about right I don't now. have the money for Zeus's uh, Farina. <laughs> well, as I understand it, the Fontaine Research Institute is also trying to find a way to counter the rising water levels. Really? Have they found anything? Uh -huh. I'm afraid that they haven't found any effective solution thus far. Aww. <clears throat> oh, is that so? Well, no like wonder. This effort. issue has reached the realm of the gods after all. Still, their spirit is praiseworthy. <laughs> Okay. No, she is not. She's doing her best. The day is finally over. I haven't had a moment to breathe this whole time. But it's good to see that everything's getting on track. There are no longer any voices of suspicion. Maybe this is fine. I just need to keep going, and everyone will be saved. All right, Farina. Don't think too hard about this. You need rest. Tomorrow's a new day. Oh, is she okay? No, she's not. She's absolutely not okay. Lady Farina, here are the new trial reports for the latest cases, as well as a summary of the follow-up. Uh, there'll be no need for that. I've seen them already. There's no need to go back over scenes I've witnessed in person before! Lady Whoa, Farina, that was a clean transition! I've waited so, so long for this chance to see you in this manner. Indeed, my dear loyal citizen. This joyous moment is an honor for us both. Lady Farina. We're detecting significant hydrological anomalies near Poisson. Understood. Keep monitoring. Keep me informed should anything come up at the Institute. <sighs> I don't think I let anything slip today. I they gotta pay them animators more. <laughs> Those are some nice transitions. I don't know when these days will end. I feel utterly exhausted. Best to rest early today, too. Ah, oh, it's okay. Thank you, Wales. The animations are clean. Everyone say thank you, Wales. <laughs> Her inner self, and this one's like kind of only a budget of this game is insane. Oh my god, Lady Farina, it's oh, it's like a dream being able to speak with you up close like this. I've heard that the first member of our family who was honored to receive an audience with you was Madame Dioteria almost 20 generations ago. <laughs> and what a fine family yours is indeed. It brings me great joy to meet such a faithful believer. Oh a descendant God. of a line most ardent. <laughs> Surely you exaggerate, Lady Farina. Oh my God. Uh, um, my lady? Hmm? What is it, good citizen? Oh, are, are you crying? Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> oh, really now? I didn't even notice. 
This must be the overflow of Hydro from my person. <laughs> well, can't quite help being the god whose dominion is the waters, can I? <laughs> no wonder. No wonder. A manifestation of your power, then. Oh, Archon, I am honored to have witnessed it. Honored indeed. Arena, you don't have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. From when we were in the giant magic... Oh no! Oh no. Share my burden. <laughs> That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. Oh. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. I'm what you'd call the a witness. The glass when they get home. A witness. Huh. Yes, I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> if that's the case... He's right. I could confide in him, couldn't I? But if things don't play out as expected, the people of Fontaine will be the ones to pay the price. No, Farina. You shouldn't be selfish. <sighs> but what if... What if it's really <sighs> Oh, right? no. Serena, you've worked so hard for so, so long. Surely it would be okay to put yourself first for once. Just this isn't such an outrageous thing to do anyway. To find someone in whom you can confide your frustrations and sorrows. Surely, oh, no. it could not hurt. If you let this opportunity slip through your fingers, it might never come by again. Think about it long and hard. That really old uh, Lucifer uh, theory was <laughs> cooking. <laughs> And we broke her trust, just like that. No, I have nothing to say. I am Farina, the oh. Archon of Fontaine. Everything will surely get better. All 
you need to do, dear spectator, is to witness my performance until the curtains fall. <sighs> ah, so she was never planning to tell us. Fine. No. Is so exhausting. So even Farina doesn't know the truth? You've never once let her in on the full plan? Oh, no. Yes, it had to be done. To deceive the heavenly principles, you must first deceive yourself. She did very well. If she had let her resolve falter even once in these five centuries, Fontaine would have been doomed to the most tragic fate. It seems that trusting humanity was the right decision after all. I believe that I understand how your deception works, but that is only half the truth, is it not? How would you build on this foundation to save the people of Fontaine? That is the most important thing. Ah, good, good. Of course, the Udex of Fontaine has pinpointed the crux of the issue. I'm sure you've long sensed that the Oratrice is no simple machine, yes? I've always suspected that it had its own consciousness. And Linny did mention that he heard a human voice within the core chamber. It now seems that that person was you, hidden within the machine all along. Am I right? And then I became one with the Oratrice, taking Fontaine's Gnosis with me. Yes, it would seem so, wouldn't it? Alas, your understanding of this device still lacks sufficient depth. In truth, it is no enactor of justice. It is, in fact, a device created to kill the God of Justice. Oh. <laughs> Your pardon? Oh, you have it. And to be more precise, not only will the Oratrice take down the God of Justice, it will also take down the Divine Throne upon which she has been placed. <laughs> I mean, did you think I would be the sort to enjoy peaceful repose while Farina suffered? My work over these last 500 years has been to constantly accumulate indemnidium within the oratories. But really, some have already discovered that only a small fraction of the energy generated by the device was ever used to provide power to Fontaine. The vast majority has been, had to be, accumulated to enact this death sentence. It was all a part of your plan then, both the trial and the sentence. Indeed. This power, accrued over five centuries, could have sustained Fontanians for millennia, had it only been used for that purpose. Almost all of it has now been stored within the Oratrice. But only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydro Archon's Divine Throne, shaking the rules established by Celestia and breaking through the institution that is the Seven. Oh, okay. So the Oratrice's call for death was for neither Farina nor Fosalor, but for the Hydro Archon. The destruction of that divine throne. If I do not misunderstand oh. your intent, you must be. Is she going to return the power to the Sovereigns? Returning what's rightfully yours to you, of course. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> In oh, other words, okay. this was all done to return the authority of the Hydro Archon to the Hydro Dragon oh. of this planet. But... So they... So it's true. So the theory is correct. No, oh, what? Getting sad again, are we? The authority of the ancient dragons shall soon be yours once more. Oh, Hydro Dragon Sovereign. And this is the face you make. <laughs> All you've done throughout the years is just so you can sacrifice yourself at the very end. 
I've never quite seen it that way, you know. Even now, I'm quite pleased at how well my deception worked. <laughs> Are we going to see crying over that? Aww. Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry. Aww. I must say, had it been within my rights, I would have loved to judge the heavenly principles themselves. Were they not guilty of essentially the same crime? Yes. Egeria stole the power of the Primordial Sea, and the Heavenly Principle stole the power you ancient dragons possessed. I, for my part, am the God of Justice, and is it not just that your original powers should be returned to you? Speaking of justice, I have always believed that justice lies in the process of pursuing human existence itself. So, if the theft of the Primordial Sea's might was Fontaine's original sin, then, leaving matters of procedural right and wrong aside, the descent of the Fontanians as humans and their right to exist in this world would be Fontaine's original justice. In other words, Existence was Egeria's justice, and to me, justice is the continuation of that existence. I'm going to tell you guys a theory that was really, really, really old on this channel. That had something to do with the Archons, and like their final plan with the Gnosis, and where that power actually came from. And I'll say that later, but... Ah, this is such a great, great tie into all of the lore shots. Defying the prophecy and ensuring that Fontaine's people shall live on. That should be the justice enthroned over all others. At this point, we, whether it be myself or all other Fontanians, have shouldered the burden of this sin for far too long. Eudex Nervillet, the highest judge in our land. Later, after this. When you regain your full power as an elemental sovereign. I'll friend, finish the story first before what I say that theory. shall you pass upon us? So when I was invited to the court of Fontaine to serve as Eudex, I see now that that was your idea too. Yes. At last, I now understand the true purpose behind this position. In the beginning, I was uninterested in human existence, but these five centuries of living alongside them have gradually brought about mutual understanding between us, and I have even attempted to feel as they feel. You are a devious one, Fosalor, things being as they are. Surely you know that I could never declare them to be guilty. The hour of my execution is almost here. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. <laughs> Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years.
Udex Nuvelet, hereby declare, People of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. So beautiful. <sighs> what just happened? Has the death sentence been carried out? Was that bright light some sort of misdirection? I have a feeling that something huge just happened. <sighs> but since we're all still alive and haven't been dissolved, I assume whatever happened was good for us. It's time to end this. We must mete out punishment to that beast. But... Didn't you say just a moment ago that it can't be defeated? I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Through certain means, I now have the ability to separate the power of the Primordial Sea from that creature. We should seize the opportunity to pursue our quarry. Traveler, now that the oratories can no longer function, I require an executor to help me mete out justice. The root of the calamities befalling Fontaine. The beast that enacts the prophecy. Its name is the all-devouring Narwhal. Come with me, traveler. The hour of execution has come. Ooh, that was beautiful. Holy shit. Oh. It's just one banger over any other. Hold on. <laughs> I have no time to breathe. Oh my god. I am I'm fine, I'm just like taking everything in. <gasps> but how are we going to do that? It's huge! Wait! I've already done my best to separate the power of the Primordial Sea. the signs of the beast, I cannot reach the power source. Unless we can find a way to attack it from within. I shall fail part of the beast. Um I don't have the best characters for these, but you know what? I will try. God, it's no. massive. Jesus. Okay, let's try to reach it. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight! Adventure time! Destroy the Isle of the Menace from the Zinnia. New Marwisha is. What? Surprise! Thank god I got a Britannia! <laughs> Imagine how fucked I was if I didn't have Lynette. Oh.
There he goes. Well, he's gone. <laughs> Yeet! Thanks for helping with the cleanup. It should have been my job, but... Oh, well. Where did he go? He's gone. What did you... <laughs> she threw him like a rag doll. It was just Yeet. supposed to be a short private training session for me. I didn't think that my disciple and my master's pet would start brawling in the meantime. Your master's pet was the one that create You're the, the narwhal. Who is your master? Oh, actually, I had a feeling that it would happen at some point. But they bumped into one another earlier than I thought. What a blunder. Skirk. I suppose I'll have to swing my sword three million times as penance. Oh, so this is Skirk. Oh. That power. Who are you exactly? Skirk! Uh, Hyman has an idea. From what she said earlier, she must be Child's master. Skirk, right? It's just that he gave us the impression that she was the less talkative person. The I simply did not have anything to say to the weak. But you, on the other hand, managed to defeat the all-devouring Narwhal without using power from beyond this world. The Traveler. Literally a power from beyond this world. <laughs> anyway. Ooh. So you may speak to me as equals. What sort of person would take the all-devouring Narwhal as a pet? Who is your master? I have to agree. It's a strange use of a planet's primordial waters just to raise an all-devouring narwhal. That kind of power is wasted on it. It's not cooperative. It eats too much. And I have more important things to do with my time than pet sitting. The only thing that creature has going for it is its looks. All in all, it fails the, as a pet. The subtitles are wrong. She says, I have... She says, I... But the subtitles say, my disciple has... Better things to do. Oh, uh, interesting. Uh, Miss Skirk, uh, I think you might have missed the point. The point being? Well, being that this she, it eats too much, doesn't do anything. Nation. Sounds like me for real. <laughs> so, what sort of person is your master? Well, child's master's master. Wait, is that right? Oh, right. So, you don't know him. Sorry, I assumed you did. His name is Sertologi. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> huh? I am unfamiliar with that name. Huh. I wonder if he's hot. So Oops. Master is insufficiently famous. Huh. How should I describe him then? Have you yeah, heard of the name guy. The Foul? The Foul? <laughs> Still nothing? Well... How about the visionary? Vetterfulnir, then? Or Gold Rhine Daughter? Ooh, that one we've heard! Rhine Daughter's part of the Hexen Circle. She's Albedo's mom, right? So we've got the visionary, we've got Gold, and then we've got the Fowl. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. The Fowl Legacy? So you do know that something, name. something. <laughs> To be honest, I also heard all of those names and titles from my master. Yeah, this is three people. I don't actually know them either. She has no idea who Gold is. <laughs> but I suppose you understand now, yes? My master is likely a similar sort to Rhine Daughter. They are both pursuing yeah. some form of perfection. I think it's a Barbaloth. Barba. Yeah. Zaini, it's the meanie and the miney. Did you also mention a visionary person? I didn't quite catch it's, their it's name. Master, right? Actually, never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you that the all-devouring narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Congratulations! It's not dead yet, but you know, pop up. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. As such, the fontaine back on the surface has most likely been yep. thrown into chaos. Wait, no. In other words. The prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. What? No, there's little to be surprised about, Paimon. It's natural after the prophecy will surely come true when you just accepted it. However... Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the heavenly principles. Oh. 
In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain, weeping on her throne. Then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. As if you can't swim, you're doomed. You're alive! Drowning, but alive! Uh. Uh. Oh shit! <gasps> All hands initiate emergency rescue! Airship Fortuna. Shock infinite vibes. People always call the first researcher mad, but few know what to call the second. And should that latter person achieve a miracle, they would find it all the harder to find a word with which to classify him and his team. <laughs> wow, Paimon barely recognizes the people in the reports. Are those really Jerry or Navia? They sound like real big shots. They might have been real big shots from this, or we just didn't meet them in that. What do you think? Pretty enthralling, huh? The Steambird's idea was pretty simple. With a disaster We're just having passed, screen time. The ship was amazing. Free edition packed to the margins with good news to calm people down. Yeah, his name is like the nowhere. The <laughs> big scoops lies in their inevitable follow-ups. 
We'll publish further reports and go into the stories behind those people. Oh, shit. Edwin's assistant, Jurier, created a true flying ship, while Navia is leading people in the reconstruction of their home. I'm sure that these stories could draw even your well-traveled eye. The articles do make me curious about how things will play out. I'm curious, too! Did Mona drown? Uh, no. <laughs> wait a minute. Didn't we watch everything happen from start to finish? What's there to be curious yeah, about? Yeah, she's a mere mortal now. And that's exactly why I'd like you to come conduct interviews with me. You're the best incubators of news, if you haven't noticed. I, I, I never wish to ever around, be referred to I'm as an sure incubator. I'm sure I'll get to see that duke. Uh, are you sure? Hasn't he turned you down several times already? Mona isn't Fontaine, and yeah, oh, so she would she would have drowned. Different. Come on, let's head to Poussaint <laughs> first, and then make a trip just to the fortress. What about the animals? There are things you'll only know when you get there. Don't think about it. <laughs> Don't think about it. <laughs> oh my gosh! The finale. We're almost done. My back. Oh, shit, that was such a beautiful. That was a beautiful arc and quest. Wait. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Yeah, Mona is from Fontaine, so wouldn't she have grown? <laughs> don't think about it. <laughs> Mona saw us because decided to get the hell out of there. Was like, yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I will check that later. <laughs> Hello! Oh, it's Fatui! Navia! Oh, it's you! Hey, we're just happy to look around! You're from Fatui, right, Mountain? I'm here to update myself on how things are going here. Hmm? Oh, the Fatui are here too! Hello! We're the good guys this time! Uh, uh, let me introduce you. This is Mr. Garunt Snezhevich. He represented the Knave in sending us a large amount of supplies, and is helping with our work. Our residents are hard at work as well. Thanks to everyone, work is progressing nicely. We've lost a lot of people, but we're moving forward. That will have to be enough. Hello, Miss Charlotte. I'm a big fan of yours. I especially like that article you wrote last year I like about his Fontaine hair. stray cats. But if you don't mind, could you not emphasize our role too much in your report? It's not charity we're doing here. We just happen to share the same interests as the Spina. I get where you're coming from. I'll keep it as simple as possible. Or would you be willing to feature as friendly neighbors? That would be fine. Thanks. Oh, you're back too. Well, it looks just... Uh, guys just things? happy to be here, you we know. We finished laying down the construction materials. Yes, Sanjavich are the names of the people It'll be another hour the before the workers are able to go over there. They're the last names huh? of Linny, Lynette, and Frenny. Well, her reputation's greatly risen after that whole duel business with Miss Farina. So she's here in Poisson to wait out the heat. Poisson? Uh, all right, all right. She really came here to help me out. There's too much to consider in the reconstruction of Poisson. Also? Vespina has need of more decision makers. And, well, I do already happen to be connected to Mr. Callus. Oh, wait, just a moment. Do you mind me asking a that few questions? Is you know, about how you felt before the duel. <laughs> about what it was like facing down a god. There's lots of exciting material there, I bet. I wish. <sighs> Forget it. Oh my god, it I'm is. I'm sure struggling. you can find a better theme than that. <laughs> oh my Ms. god. Charlotte. Oh, you oh, I see. little the deliberate decisions of character design Couldn't are very funny to me. Favor, for Navia's sake. Well, if we're talking about doing things for my sake, you might as well just take a few more photos of me. Or of the Traveler. It's better than wasting time persuading Chlorand at any rate. Of course I will. I'm not going to let him off that easy. All right, then everyone who wants to be in the photo, gather up and smile. Taylor Swift is so pretty. How did it go? Was it a good shot? Did Paimon look cute in it? <laughs> they fun. Not bad. Good. Your addition really helped the composition of the picture. All right, hang on a moment. Let me snap a few more shots. Hello, you guys are just coming All in. All right, that should do it. I'll be back here later anyway, so uh, let's call it a day. Bye-bye. <laughs> You're very quick. Speed is of the essence when it comes to the news, and freshness is I wonder is the how peak. this is gonna end. Also, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at building connections. Who knows? I might eventually get that interview with you after all, Miss Clorand. Wow. 
You really do have that never say die spirit. Never say no. I'm impressed. I will get that interview with you, like <laughs> it or not. I'll hazard a guess that this is how you got that interview at the Fortress of Meripede. <laughs> you already knew she was going. Well, you're well informed. What is stronger than Heavenly too? Principles? Never say never. I asked never. Sijuin who told Monsieur Nervilette and he told you, right? We're just That's finishing up some stuff here, but I th complete information think we're almost chain. done. Intrigue. Yeah, the quest is not yet over. Neville asked me was, <laughs> yeah. When did the fortress become so friendly never towards the down, media? Never pack down, never. I told him that it was best not to speak too soon. Never break you about. There's no guarantee that Ridesley will make a personal appearance. Aw, you're right. I've got to treasure every moment I have with them. In which case, I'll be making a move first. Goodbye, Coran. Oh, Are you going to stream for Rina's request? And Maybe once I get the time. Anything I might be doing more streams. I'll treat soon. you to afternoon tea in exchange. Maybe, yeah. So far, which Argon quest do you prefer? I absolutely love this one. I've. Man. Like, playing the newer Argon quests just make me so. Like, it feels weird, right? Because, like. Uh, Leo and Azuma and Wansat didn't have this level of like I guess either budget wow. or production. We're here again, huh? Oh shit! There's a real nostalgic oh fuck! I autopiloted. No. Looks like you've been missing I'm sorry. Us. Well, Dude, I'm sorry. I autopiloted. I, I I was very eager to see Risley. I'm sorry. I'm here to welcome you and I'm just going to look for it again. I'll just Google it. Sorry, I was I was very interested in Risley. Thank you for consenting to my visit to the fortress, sir. No need to thank me. But that said, I shouldn't be the focus of your interview. I trust you recall our agreement. Thank you. Very no Of course, of course. <laughs> All right then. This way. <laughs> this is giving me the same vibes. As like when Faker was crying in the worlds hey, twenty twenty, no like to so in the nervous. in worlds, I've already and then taken like all the journalists just kept like um, taking photos of them. Miss Charlotte, do these pictures really need to be published on the cover there of the go. Steambird? It would seem that Miss Lorvine doesn't want her face to appear beside that of Mister Jurier. Hmm? Sir, please don't say things like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> but mm -hmm. it looks like dear Mister Jurier denies it. No, I I, I just. This is my first time being interviewed, and I'm very thankful to the Steambird for... <laughs> now, I might not look it, but I actually did meet Mr. Edwin once. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed chatting with you more. You've definitely got more of that genius vibe going on. He definitely that ships them. About a Have you heard of Freena's voice? Have you heard Freena's voice? Yes, yeah. I'm gonna back there, like an emissary study them, of maybe not today. But still, if I might ask, where's that flying ship now? It crashed, <laughs> burnt, and everything Looks else. Looks like Charlotte's trying to get herself another exclusive scoop. I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to get a shot of it. Really? Well, then in that case, could I have an interview with you to make up for that loss? The negotiator. You already know my answer, I'm afraid. Best you interview our head nurse instead. Or perhaps you'd like to take another photo of this couple of researchers? As couple of Did researchers. Did you really have to use the word couple? Yes. Well then, two solo photos will do. Truly. Is my hair messed up? Please, someone help me have a look. Things sure are getting pretty lively here. <sighs> We've seen this kind of thing The ship before. is staying in the G chamber now. <laughs> oh, seems like everyone's here. Would any of you like to try this new drink I came up with? Ah, Sijuin. Uh, uh, hey, Miss Charlotte, why don't you, uh, take some pretty photos of our head nurse? Hmm? Uh, sure. Come on, Miss Sijuin, over this way. How do you resubmerge a, a ship spot. like that? <laughs> oh, uh, Gravity. Sure. Uh, do you really <laughs> have to smile? So, how have things been at the fortress? Same old, same old, as you okay, can see. Okay, let's talk to them. I, I must remember that I do not changes, autopilot and go to Nivellette. More... Other than that flying ship. I got a tad too much attention, I think. That's why I decided to let the interview go through. We should direct more public opinions toward the behind-the-scenes heroes. <laughs> Am I right, Mr. Jurier? Miss Lurvine? You're too kind, sir. I believe that you too should have your day in the sun. Not that, Not you, that would you would want, want that. Just pity. 
<laughs> I'll just leave the spotlight to you two. You walk with Ryzy for a while and share news from above ground with him. I see. Lots of things happened that day, huh? Anyway, regarding that harbinger, I'm not sure you remember, but his three young followers are still waiting for his return. Damn. He sure did win them over, huh? He got yeeted into the that there's good wherever he went. News. The good being that their boss seems fine, and the bad being that they must face extended sentences for abetting his escape. Lenny, Lynette, and Remini are still in jail? Really? Oh, actually, what about you? Are things gonna change for you too? They were right in dire. What can change can there be? <laughs> the fortress will keep chugging along, and so <laughs> the, will the my tweedle dudes. Dee, tweedle dumb ass As to what Miss Farina's departure will mean for oh, the no, nation, oh no, it's the other three. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We'll leave those to the folks in the overworld. No. Okay. Oh no, it's the boys. Oh, I kind of like them. They were, they were chill. No, don't extend their sentence. Actually, they should. Never mind. They kind of let him escape. You know, they're right and die like them. Get friends like that. Like, child's gang? Get friends like that, honestly. Hey, everyone. The photo shoot's done. You're pretty chill, yeah. The three cannibals. You know what? Let's we'll call them. Child's cannibals. Good. In that case, <laughs> let's call it a day here. Thanks for your cooperation. Child's on, pipe let's cannibals. Go. You know what? We'll call it everyone. that. There'll be a next time? Maybe. Who knows? I might write a story about the underwater factory next time. Until then. He's gonna get one tap. <laughs> He's gonna get one tap. Oh, you know, I'd love to see you in one of Charlotte's Child's photo shoots one day. Is that really necessary? Our line Child of work doesn't really should not have a sentence to serve, hopefully. It's precisely because we don't need the picture that they'll have value as keepsakes. We don't really look all that opposed to the idea, you know? Maybe I'm just happy that I managed to once again avoid the spotlight. I think this interview went well either way. Yes, you successfully kept prying eyes away by using Mr. Jurier and Miss Lorvina's okay, shield. Okay. Very good. You should be happy for them. They have a bright future ahead of them. Together. Specifically. They have a bright future ahead of them. Together. Here are the interview notes. They mentioned that the flying ship may have many uses in the future, and the journalist uh -huh. asked me what I thought of them. Seriously, how would I know anything about that? Flight is just flight. Whether people want to use a flying ship to broadcast good news or organize weddings is none of my beeswax. A wedding? <gasps> oh. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> Don't me inside. Why are you my looking time. at me like that? <laughs> so the flying ship can be used for weddings? I didn't say that. That journalist mentioned it, and what does that have to do with us anyway? True. What does that have to do with us? They're gonna get the ship is gonna get married on a literal ship. This is it, this is it, this is it, this is this is how it goes, huh? Oh, the cookie crumbles. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Hey, that's it. My back is hurting. <laughs> My very fragile 21 year old back <laughs> is hurting. <laughs> Let me go. What a very fragile back. I'm in season! They really are here! How did you know? We'll pay for you to unlock the map. Hold on. <laughs> Navia mentioned that she stayed in touch with Linny and the others after I'll tell you guys together. later when my Apparently, friends have been bugging me about getting a new these chair. Pockets the whole time I'll since. tell you later about everything. Traveler, Paimon. Oh, and Miss Charlotte, too. Shucks. Would you like a magic pocket? What sort of gadget is it? 
It's a wondrous bag that can be used to carry many things. The water level has returned to normal, but if you see any of your things floating around, you can use this to carry them. Or you could trick There's a friend like, into doing it for There me. are like at least some people telling me right now to get an ergonomic chair. Guys, please, I don't have money for that. <laughs> Actually, hold on, I'll tell you. Yeah, okay, okay, here's the thing, here's the thing, right? So, the chair that I have right now is literally a school chair. The one with the desk, with the armchair? Yeah. So, for the whole three hours, I have been sitting on a 90 degree angle with my back completely straight. Like, not resting. Because the, ch because the armchair rest is like... <laughs> so, for the people that are saying that I should sit up straight, I have been sitting up straight for the past three hours. <laughs> that sounds like comfortable, yes. And my friends have been bothering me to get a chair. I don't know if they're awake right now. But I hope you're proud of chat for telling me to get a chair. I have no idea if they're awake. May they not accidentally unmute themselves and... You guys aren't ready to hear their voices. I will get keep them. Trust. <laughs> Ray, how do you even get one? I literally have a school chair. Like right now. I literally have a school chair. <laughs> so... I have been sitting up on a straight posture for the past 30 minutes. 3 hours. Sorry, not 30 minutes. 3, three hours. And the chat immediately went oboe oh, deep voice. <laughs> Chat, I'm gonna need y'all to like not accidentally go monkey. <laughs> Someone get this girl. How do you even have a school chair in your room? Let's just say that I have connections. <laughs> I'll see if I can like find it, but like, hold on, let me finish this. I'll tell you guys later. Hmm, I wonder which of my friends would fall for that. You could just make a friend with Fremine here. Isn't that right, Fremine? <sighs> Is this what you meant so by... I'm, I'll help I'm you too make lazy to get friends. another chair. <laughs> My dad honest, has a better setup than me. <laughs> could I have your contact, please? Uh... Oh, uh... Sure. Uh, <laughs> please, write down no, your address. Sure. Guys, please do not donate for a chair. Please don't. <laughs> please, please don't, 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 don't. I will get the chair. 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 I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I will get the chair. Just, just don't, 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 don't. don't. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. I will. I'm gonna get a chair. <laughs> I'm gonna. I have. Maybe I can just like borrow my dad's gaming chair. <laughs> my dad has a nice gaming chair. Actually, my dad has a better setup than me. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue the story. Sure this. <laughs> you better get a new chair for your next one. He was the one who proposed doing this. <laughs> he even wants to. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I will use I will use that for a chair. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> yes, I was planning to first introduce Pear as an assistant, and later Fremine himself. <laughs> In the Potter. future, I think we can leave underwater escape magic to him too. That said, would anyone want to see a diver escape underwater? <laughs> Let's go through it. Dad oh, came it'll in. work out. <laughs> My dad has a better setup with than the first me. Step. He'll become a part of our show eventually. Uh, Lynette, could you come over? It's Charlotte. Miss Charlotte says she wants to take a picture of us. Got it. Got it. I love Vinette. She's so chill. My, that Charlotte is rather perceptive. She got rid of everyone the moment she realized I had something to say to you. Get a monoblock. So, how have things been, traveler? <laughs> Rishi, thank you so much for the donation. But <laughs> please... I, I will buy a chair. I swear, I will buy a chair. I will buy a chair. I will buy... I, I will get a chair. Okay. Your dad is a streamer too. No, but he has really good setup. <laughs> <laughs> he has a really great setup. I'm gonna be real. 
<laughs> he has like a dual monitor that has like the the actual con I'm gonna finish this arc and quest before I start talking about my dad's setup, okay? Father says Let me just that finish you did this. a great deal during the latest <laughs> before I get distracted. She's very grateful for your contributions to Fonzie. Oh. All it took was chat to threaten <laughs> to donate you. for you to <laughs> for you to buy a gaming chair. Go, wow. go, go, Amazing. Oh, go back to your you chest. Heard. Well, after Lady Farina left, Father and Monsieur Nervilet opened negotiations, during no, 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 which she gave no, 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 Fontaine's no. gnosis to her as a diplomatic gift. <laughs> Thank you so much for now. Guys, 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 please, 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 please. That was not my dad. 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 That was our dad. That was a friend. That was not my dad, guys. That was not my dad. <laughs> um, thank you for the. <laughs> um, Diggity, thank you so much for the donation for a chair. I will get a chair. I promise. You know what? Sure. So that, so, so that all of, all of, all of you. That was not my dad. <laughs> that was not my daddy either. What the fuck? Yes, I was quite surprised at first myself, but when I thought it over, there were actually a number of things going for it. It could have been done guys, as an guys, apology to finish for the, the incident with Lord Child, or He's a friend. as thanks for his help in tying the all-devouring narwhal down. Furthermore, Father did also lend significant aid to Fontaine and Poisson. <laughs> The voices came out. Let me just finish the Arkham Crest, okay, guys? Let me just finish the Arkham Crest. Alright, we'll talk about the chairs later. I would agree, but I've also heard that <laughs> it seems that Monsieur Nervilet has had a significant change of heart regarding the matter. Uh, so there's some reason for this that only Nervilet knows about? I suspect you'll have to ask him about that yourself. Oh, Pay attention yes, to the wait, which, Soviet. Thank you so much for the donation. The to the the, um, of thank you so much back. for the donation. We'll stop when we see a chair. I will get a chair. I will get a chair. I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay. Okay. Let me just let me just finish this. Let me just finish this. Back to the topic. The gnosis was given to the knave, right? What about child? Oh my gosh, I almost I almost missed that really important lore bit. So Gnosis is with the knee right now. They okay. say that he's returned to Snezhnaya to recover from his wounds. He got yeeted into the astral the disaster fucking sea. Really did a number on his health. No, 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 don't worry. I was paying attention to the dialogue. Don't worry. That's true. When you think my, about my, it, my, my multitasking is very supreme. I think we'd be allied with them this time. So shocked by such a simple switching of sides? Hello, bitch. It's me. Uh, <laughs> Boogie the Dark One. Thank you so much for the donation. Easy, please. Um, thank you. I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> Your lore video. Could you put a chair in the thumbnail? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna talk about the Divine Thrones at this rate. <laughs> I will get a share, I promise. <laughs> Guys, let's, let's focus on Daddy Arlequina first. <laughs> oh shit, she's so... Abraham the Bad Butcher, thank you for the donation. <laughs> well, well, what do you know? Come to the docks to see how oh, my shit, children are doing and meet Guys, the traveler. speaking of father. <laughs> Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too much mind. I would have done them regardless. <laughs> So close to you know, thank you, and for, for money for the chair. That is our duty as harbingers. Oh, thank yes. you. Don't be too preoccupied with sides. The goal of the Fatui concerns not a single place or person, but the entire world. I see my focus on that. Every goal in mind. It is inevitable that we must wear many masks. I see. Thank you. Thank you so much for the. Yes, I will get a chair. I promise. I promise. I promise. Switching my masks <laughs> is something I've always done. Uh, Sinecarius, thank you for the donation. I will do my best in <laughs> case you can stop. I've, that's more than enough. Thank you. The name of the no chair with Aster. <laughs> well, that depends on many things. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. No one truly knows them. what the future holds. What good wait, is wait, I'm not wrong, right? The knave got forever. the gnosis. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong, right? The knave currently has the gnosis. As for you, I very much look forward to our next collaboration. 
Good things cannot be achieved alone. Okay. And you've proved so, yourself. So next question. What's the power in the gnosis right now? If the power is supposed to be with Nervalet, like what's in that thing? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. A vision. <sighs> All right. I'll remember to well, return if, if Thank you for this quest. It safe for okay, him okay, this okay. It's probably in the end. But <laughs> thank you for the <laughs> <laughs> so That's a wrap for me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you, you, so much. Greetings, Miss Journalist. Oh. Hello. Uh, um, hello. If I'm not mistaken, there are diplomatic By the way, get an office chair. To take a photo okay, of you. I will get an office chair. I'll try to find one that's tall. I'm I'm relatively short. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Let's finish the Arkham quest and I'll talk about the, the chairs later, okay? <laughs> that is correct. So forgive me, but I will not be able to serve as a subject in your article. However, feel free to write as much as you'd like about our dear magicians and our Get one that's not going to come your back. I, yes, I will. I will, I will, I will. I will. <laughs> the sea breeze is quite pleasant. <laughs> oh, I shall continue my walk while Thank the weather remains so agreeable. Pleasure. Farewell. <laughs> Farewell, father. Bye, daddy, Arlequino. Oh, she has such an intimidating presence. I didn't even dare to take a picture. She's hot. Thankfully, I've already wrapped up all my pre <laughs> interviews. Hot. Thank you all. This'll be more- Don't be too nervous. Why don't you take a magic pocket before you go? Here, traveler, Paimon, you take one too. Do you Bye, daddy. <laughs> Show us That's your current right. chair, please. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of it later. I was giving out magic <laughs> pockets when we first met, too. Thank you, Mechanox, for the... What do you know? <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing right now. So many things have happened, but the <laughs> pockets are still the pockets. I guess this must be life. We will all follow our own paths, and serendipity will lead you to your fated friends. Child got eaten. Right, then. <laughs> I like how we'll Child has just basically been a rag doll this so whole. We'll get going so now. Don't thank Have you so a good day, you two. For the donation. Farina lost the throne, you gained one. You know what? Just for you guys, I'm going to make the next video is going to be about the divine thrones of Celestia. And I'm just going to take a picture of a chair. <laughs> um. I do this? Yes. Vanfish AQ. I'll, I'll collect my thoughts, yes. I shall finish this arc and quest, because there's actually a lot of valor that I want to discuss. Um... Child's just been a ragdoll this whole arc and quest. Quit following you know, me. Honestly. That's actually kind of interesting. I wonder why. Huh. I want to discuss it now. Yeah. Um, I think I discussed this in a very... In an older video. Because... I think I discussed before. Why is it that the Arc... Like, Celestia decided to reduce the number of the demon gods to seven? And then give them the Gnosis? So, I had a theory that it was, like, draconic in nature. Like, in... It's meant... Like, the... The Ark and War was meant to emulate... The seven sovereigns, like the creation of the seven archons, is in parallel to the seven sovereigns. It's outside. Fuck. <laughs> Don't forget the chair after stream. Yes, I will not. Thank you for the thank you for the membership. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go outside. I'm an idiot. Oops. The wind rises. Yeah, and that's another. I think that's also another one of the theories. It's to avoid the complete spread of power between elemental creatures of the demon gods category. So, you compile them, I guess, into... Okay, alright, guys. We focus on the lore. Alright. Let's go. He's so pretty. I don't, I don't know why, like, he's oh, so pretty. I suppose you must have met Mr. Linny. He took the time to greet me earlier when he passed this way. I see. In any case, you came at a good time. I was just considering reaching out to you to set up a meeting, so I may explain some things that I haven't had the time to before. Let's go! Oh, I'm kind of glad that you remembered. Thank you for keeping us on your mind, what with you being busy and all. 
floor. All right, let's have it then. How is Fontaine actually saved? The whole business is still quite the mystery to us. Hmm. <laughs> it is strange how words can often leave a bitter taste in the mouth when it finally comes time to say them out loud. Nivellet sighed softly before telling the truth concerning what he saw that day. I was sorry to see the Heavenly Principles in his Farina's endless performance to save Fonte. Oh, so that's what happened? I only saw Farina's part. Fosalor destroyed the Divine Throne of the Hydro Archon and restored your power to you, transforming you into a fully-fledged Elemental Dragon Sovereign! But Diamond still doesn't quite get what you did to save the Fontanians from dissolving. For me, the authority of the ancient dragons refers to absolute control over the Hydro Element. Fontanians were incomplete humans born of Egeria's use of the power of the Primordial Sea, with constitutions similar to that of Mimics. But so long as those primordial energies remain within them, I could use the ancient dragon's authority to grant them true blood, oh. after the fashion in which life was first brought into being on this planet. In other words, when I gave my verdict, Fontanians became true humans, and thus would naturally no longer be dissolved by water from the Primordial Sea. Fossilor must have counted on you to make that decision as well. Your verdict was the key to making the prophecy appear to have come true while saving everyone. You can see that it was at that moment that the Fontanians... There's a lot of baptism... Um, allegories here. Yeah! It seems from your expressions that you still have more things you wish to ask. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Let's go! About the initial verdict that was passed on child. I have investigated his case along many avenues, and I have learned that he once fell into an unknown chasm when he was young. Oh. There, by chance, he awakened the all-devouring narwhal. But yeah, whether it be by fault. sentiment or reason, that should not have been enough to consider him the root cause of the disaster. At most, he would have had tangential liability. As for the judgment passed by the Oratrice during the trial, whether it was due to that liability by association or Fosalor deliberately <laughs> using him to buy time for us on the assumption that he would be able to hold the creature <laughs> that is off, them, debatable. I cannot say. Guess Fosalor had Fontanians in mind the whole time. In the end, it was thanks to her that they finally became real humans. I see. Uh, hang on a second. Paimon suddenly got another question. Back when Fontanians hadn't yet become real humans, were the children they had also transformed Oceanids? Damn. She's asking the real hard-hitting questions, honestly. Life has always flowed like water. Do you recall how Fontanians would often come to the Fountain of Lucene to pray for children? Yeah! Lynette said the fountain is where all the waters in Fontaine converge! In truth, even those couples did not know that such prayers were no mere custom. Instead, Ew. A form of ritual. Those Oceanids who were blessed within the spring water would later descend as new humans in the coming months. Uh, Paimon, sort of get Ew. this now. <laughs> Either way, it seems like this ritual won't be of any further use, but it'll probably live on as a local custom. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. About Fontaine's future. Ah, oh, Lady Farina. The people are only aware that her death sentence has not been carried out. Wait. She abdicated oh. the post of Hydro Archon and left affairs related to that title to me, before leaving the Opera House. Oh no. I related Fosalor's words to her faithfully and completely. After hearing them, she seemed neither saddened nor comforted. She simply said that she was tired and needed to rest. Having said that, she then packed her things and moved out of the Opera House. Not unlike how an ordinary person might. Oh. But she's still got a place to stay, right? Oh no, is she homeless? You need not worry. I will make arrangements to ensure that she will not want for food, clothing, board, or travel. Okay, I was worried she was homeless. In truth, I am somewhat happy for her. The wear and tear on her spirit will, of course, take time to heal. Oh, that's But sweet. now that she no longer has to play the role of Fosalor the Hydro Archon, she can finally lay down her burdens and lead a normal life. Thank God. What about Good you, for then? her, good for what her. What are your plans now that you 
you've regained your full powers as the Hydro Dragon. After Fossilor passed on, the Oratrice also ceased to function. This matter will directly affect our trials. After much careful consideration, I've decided to take over its role in our courts. From now on, I shall hear cases and pass verdicts by myself. Looks like you're still considering stuff from the perspective of the Udex, huh? As an elemental dragon, there are indeed many things that I must do. But this power and this duty, in a manner of speaking, you could say that both were granted to me. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Farida will always be known as that woman that impersonated the Hydro Archon. You know what I mean? Look, thank you so much for the donation, but... Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, there's so little people that know the truth of Farina's sacrifice that she's not gonna be known as, like, anything else. And that's what kind of- that's what sucks about it, you know what I mean? I hope that she's in a better place. Like, I hope that the people... ...don't judge her for that, is what I'm saying. As such, before I attend to my other responsibilities, I must first and mm, foremost continue so to serve to Fontaine as its highest okay. judge. The duty of the Hydro Sovereign and the duty of the Udex shall coexist within my person. Additionally, the Hydro right. Archon's departure has brought about uh, another problem, okay. which is that the Opera I'll House shall no longer that. produce indemnity. Let's see what happens. That's true. That power was derived from the people's faith in the Hydro Archon, wasn't it? Wait, but the various mechs and machines in the city are all still okay. Where are they getting their energy from? As I am now, I have full command over New Musia, and it can serve as a complete time. substitute. I'm gonna listen Another to them reason in the why I cannot quite leave Fontaine immediately. Wow, this ancient dragon's authority stuff is really quite useful, huh? Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. <gasps> no, sis. Oh, that's right! They say you've given it to the knave as a diplomatic gift or something! Leaving aside their intentionality, the two Fatui Harbingers have indeed done much for us during this crisis. Their sole remaining goal in Fontaine, at least at this point, would seem to be the Gnosis. The Oratrice has ceased to function. The Hydro Archon's Divine Throne is now no more. And I do not need the Gnosis's power. As such, it has lost all meaning for Fontaine. If the Fatui have impure designs, we might as well accede to their request now, and avoid unnecessary conflict. Ugh, what complicated considerations! Paimon thought you were just giving it to them out of gratitude to the knave and as an apology to child! Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. You will soon be heading to Natlan, I presume? The music is not it. I'm afraid you. that I have little <laughs> talent as a travel guide, so all I can do is tell you what I know about that land. As far as I'm aware, Natlon can be said to be a nation of dragons. A nation of dragons? You mean like you? No, I suspect Aww. that I would not find myself welcome there. Unlike ancient dragons such as myself, the dragons of Natlon have undergone long years no. of development and evolution. Large but numbers of dragons. them have entered a form of coexistence with humanity. Yes, Natlon dragons. Natlon is also the nation nice. of war. War ravages those lands like an undying flame. There is one other piece of information I got incidentally from my negotiations with the Knave that I believe may be useful to you. The Harbinger known as the Captain has thrown his hat into the endless ring of war. I think this is for the people that did not play the event. But yes, nice throwback, nice throwback. The Captain... Sounds like a real tough customer! Seriously, everywhere you look, there's a Fatui Harbinger doing their thing! I suggest they spawn that you fully nowhere, prepare like yourself cockroaches. before going to Natlon. It has been a meantime, while, yeah. It's Fontaine been super a while <laughs> since the wind blew. <laughs> Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. I have no more questions. Uh, hang on Goodbye. a sec. Paimon still got a question about the Gnosis. Ooh. When we spoke to Linny earlier, he mentioned that your attitude towards giving away the Gnosis had clearly changed. We guessed that there might be some 
reason for it that only you were aware of. Hmm. No wonder the House of the Hearth is the Fatui's intelligence division. They are certainly sharp. So regarding this specific issue, I was just getting ready to share something with you. Uh, what is it? In truth, I exchanged some further words with that lady named Skirk after sending you two back to the surface. It went something like this. devouring narwhal isn't here so i'm no longer getting any interference i can finally catch the scent of your power what it's made of it is the authority of the planet's primordial dragons but with something very similar to a god's curse mixed in it's quite a novel blend i'm sure i've encountered something like this before what was it again i do not know what you speak of ah oh, of course how could I forget? You should have the remains of the Third Descender on your person, yes? Oh boy... Remains? I've never heard of any such thing. Huh. According to your parlance, I believe it may be called a Gnosis. We. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. Well, that much is true. After nice. Fosalor's divinity faded, she handed her gnosis to me. But I fear I have never heard of it described in the manner that you just did. I've been training with my master, the Fowl, ever since I was young. And I have never returned to the surface since. So most of the information I possess, I got from him. It is only natural for those who are greater than humanity to possess a different sort of common sense. Which is why there are so many problems in our attempts to communicate with humans. Regardless, you should probably get rid of objects of misfortune to prevent any disasters from befalling you. I'm so happy right now, you have no idea. This actually supports a very, very strong theory that I had before regarding the Cerita's plans. To live in itself is a blessing. I but once a person later. dies, the bonds he once had with this world shall all turn to curses. What do you mean by that? <sighs> no need to fret. These are just my... personal thoughts. And my reason for no longer wishing to return to the surface. This third descender you refer to, who are they? And when did they die? <laughs> Master never mentioned them to me. Perhaps it just wasn't that important for me to know. If you're interested though, I could ask him. I'll be sure to pass the answer on to you next time. Next time? You believe we will meet again? I do. Wait. I have a disciple of my own, don't I? He can be the messenger then. That's what she told me. Whether it would prove useful or not, I wanted to pass that information on to you. I like how everyone has the same thoughts. I agree. One of my old theories for... Um, why the Gnosis was being collected for Tifatui's final plan was they wanted to create a super weapon or revive something. I think I based it off of the Husk of Opulent Dreams. You know how the Gnosis was used to be known as a heart? As well as... Yeah, something like that. So now that we have this, I thought that they were just going to create the super weapon. And I thought, they, that, I thought that they were going to recreate the dragon, like one of the sovereigns. But now... We have stronger, a stronger theory. Fascinating. Okay. The theory is theoring, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look for that old, old as fuck script. The no. Of the third descender. So that's what the Nosis actually are. 
Paimon just thought they looked like chess pieces. How could they be a person's remains? All the same, assuming that there was no misunderstanding or special metaphor at play, that is what she meant to say. They're trying to survive she something. She said that it would bring misfortune and that you should check it. Which is why you the traveler is not the third descendant, they were the fourth one. If she speaks again. the truth, oh then I would God. simply be putting Fontaine this at it. unnecessary risk die. by keeping it here. I am the fourth descendant. For me, the, this information makes two things. One, that the Gnosis are related to the descenders, and two, that the one who came before me has already died. I had guessed that you might already be familiar with this concept, but I did not expect you to be one of them. That means that the Gnosis, which are exceedingly element-compatible and can even enhance elemental abilities, do indeed come from the Third Descender. Hmm, I wonder. Does your body also possess similar properties? Like, uh... Like being able to use elemental powers without a vision! That does sort of count as special compatibility, right? No, no, let's not think about this stuff right now. It just feels... creepy. Comparing the Traveler to the dead Third Descender and all? That's what you say, but this topic still feels like bad luck! <sighs> Once Child recovers, let's get some more answers out of him. Or go look for his master and get the answers that way! I too believe it unwise to make too many blind guesses when information is lacking. The same is true of being at court. Yes. All of Fosalor's efforts were for this moment as well. But she sacrificed herself in the end as a god, and she suffered through all those years as a human. Was that really what she wanted? I suppose that would be the mystery of a god's will. I suspect not. But once in a while, I too would guess that if wishes were like <laughs> the, the clouds in the shot. sky, <laughs> they will one day return to the it. earth as raindrops. Life flows like water, and rain is the final answer. The water levels may sometimes tilt one way or another, but the rain falls fairly upon all. And what, ultimately, is the difference between the rains that fall upon all of us? The Masquerade of the Guilty is finally done! Yay! I'll talk- Oh, did you? It seems from your expressions. Oh my lord, let me go. I will tell you the truth. I suggest that you fully I will check all of the voice lines and everything in between later. I will go on the wiki. I'm gonna, I'm about to set up a tent in a wiki somewhere in the wiki somewhere, but I am cooking. Hey. So there's that. So... That was great. I love that. <laughs> that was a beautiful arcing quest. How many videos can we expect? Okay, so fun fact. I actually have a video that's supposed to be coming out tomorrow, I think, about Celestia. It was a really old script. I'm just finishing everything that I need to finish right now because I have several deadlines. And I will do my best to get everything done. So... I will read Nervalith's lines. Okay. I'm gonna look for the Divine Thrones. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Apologist? Me? <laughs> Celestia can go burn. <laughs> you think I've got a sharp tongue? Nobody hates Celestia more than me. Like as a mate. If someone can't handle it, maybe <laughs> that's their problem. I'm, a, I'm gonna burn this. I'm gonna burn Celestia to the ground. <laughs> Imagine if, like, there's also the wheel quest item. Let's read it. I want to see what it says. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where can I find it, actually? Where do I find it? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there it is. Philosopher in the faraway ancient world once posited that where there is life, there is death. Naturally, where there is death, there is life. If not, then the fleeting light cannot resist the eternal darkness and all withers into nothingness at the end of time. Okay. 
Honestly? Oh my god. Oh, it's so long. Yeah. I think everyone basically has that same idea now. Because I think everyone had the idea that if you collect all of the Gnosis... Kind of like the Exodia cards. <laughs> no, I think it was like the joke that people were making before, like in the in the lore community, was like, I honestly like, I honestly just think that he was going to be, you know, um, they were gonna revive someone. My theory was that it was like the Seven Sovereigns. What we saw right now, that was my initial theory, that the Sarita was going to give back the power of the Gnosis. To the seven sovereign dragons and basically re-establish the world order. That was what I was thinking. But now that we have the third descender, it all just keeps going. Now I have to know who the third descender is. Neat. So the heavenly principles, as far as we are aware is the first one. Have you read Renna's notes? I've read it before, but I actually forgot. I don't remember. I don't have Nervalet, so I can't check Nervalet's line, so I'll check that later. God, there's just so much lore. <gasps> there is so much lore. Do you think the history of Celestia is trying to hide the Gnosis come from outside? What's actually interesting is that why why would they give the Gnosis to the demon gods? You know what I mean? Like if Because the Primordial One had this thing, or at least Celestia had this thing where they were very against <sighs> forbidden small. knowledge of uh, the choo choo. Like that's why they started nuking with the nails. The reason that they nuked, they nuked with the nails was because forbidden knowledge, or at least like the war during with the invaders, poisoned the land. So um, they had to do the nails to purify it, quote unquote. So what I'm curious is what is their rationale for giving the gnosis in the first place There's to no need the to others, uh, to trees. the demon gods? It's rather like why bother? To force a conversation. Um, but just why to bother? Um. <laughs> And you call this? Why bother spreading it out like that and like putting it into circulation? And why do the Gnosis reflect? What the hell did I just pick up? And why do the Gnosis reflect, you know, um, authority? Is what I want to know. To guard them? Maybe. There was stuff about the senders in the family. Yeah, and Ren is notes. Nice. Why would they give the third year in turn? There was a chance of that. Too slow. There's a pineapple on there? Yeah, there's a pineapple on there. <laughs> Why did it take this long for some Natlin lore? True. But if anything, wouldn't just keeping the Gnosis a secret? Like, in general, be the better call? There is Fatui is the Fatui founder. Unfortunately, I don't think that's the case because the Fatui founder is... Too slow. What's her face? The Sarita and Pierre. Hero. I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna check it out later. But yeah. I think that's it for today. Thank you everyone for chilling. This has been a four-hour stream, <laughs> and I honestly thought that I had a bit more time, but it is four hours. Yes, I will be getting that chair. Yes. I will do my best to get that chair. What the fuck? Girl, where'd you come from? <laughs> girl, where'd you come from? <laughs> like, girl, where'd you come from? Girl, where'd you come from? She kind of spawned out of nowhere. Oh, wait, hey, that's a C2 Jean! <gasps> Please don't 
Please be a Situgin, please be a Situgin, please be a Situgin, please be a Situgin. Please, 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 please. No! Fuck! Uh, wait, was it C4? That, uh -huh, no, it was C4. But I wanted the Situgin. Wait, 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 look, 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 it's kind of funny, because... So that's literally a seventh pull. And then, like, before that, I literally got Farina, like, twice back to back. Jesus Christ, what's going on? Yes, maybe I am delusional. Use donations? We will not be using the donations to wail on Genshin Impact. We will not be doing that, guys. Anyway, that should be all for today. One more point. <gasps> Asante's God in faith here, okay? I can't provide the bed adapt. Bed has. <laughs> Uses Zonos for chair. We never need the results of the war between the Heavenly Prince and the Second Kim, so you know. As far as we know, the only thing we know about that, the end of that war was that the invaders lost. And that's because of the artifact set. And the book. But other than that, we have nothing else, if I'm not mistaken. Do the chair assembly stream. Like it doesn't mean whale. No, 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 no. I, I, I am a whale. I, I did unfortunately whale for a C6 uh, Hazo. I got a C6 Kazo instead, but you know, I tried. That was like two years ago. <gasps> you got C1 already? Yeah. Quit following me. Okay. So, story time. While I am um, just finishing some steps. So, about that chair thing. <laughs> they lost but wounded fans, yeah. What con is your wander? My wander is C3. If I'm not mistaken, you hate C3. Mikazo has, like, Mikazo has a C6. I just tell it like it is. That's over 100% for like it, it's really chilly. You have full up for your half history. Good luck! So, now that we're just like settling down, I guess before the stream ends. <laughs> My friend has been advocating for the mana block for the past god knows how long. I have no idea how long th these people have been advocating for the mana block. Let me just turn off. Are they still playing chess? No. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm still playing chess, and no, the bottom block is not a good idea. Lucy says this is a good idea. Lucy's full of shit. Oh my god. Vision barriers use their vision and sink in the tune. <laughs> this is not my dad, he's not my dad. This is for bad back support. Don't forget the new lines, they're really important. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read them later. I'm gonna read the... I <laughs> the voice is jump scaring every time, sorry. These contain the voices in Yeah, sorry, the voices in my head is actually a real a, a really deep deep voice, yeah. <laughs> so Hydra Arcans are wearing a thing, only six Hydra Yes! Only six uh Arcans remain. Completely. And I think this is like the one true time that we can say that there's no Archon. Daddy, he can be mine though with that voice! <laughs> he ain't your dad, no, your daddy, but he can be mine with that voice. <laughs> yeah, so it's no longer seven, it's six. Alright, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Peak mana block. My other friend here doesn't want to speak, but it's okay. He's like advocating for mana block. Are the voices in your head sick? <laughs> Guys, please, I'm sorry. Quit following me. Are you supposed to see your fault for like people slow. are dumb bad? <laughs> Man, fucking spawn out of nowhere, unmuted. Jesus Christ, the voices. Okay, I'm thinking. Yeah, the six pygmies. That's what I was also thinking. Quit following me. According to Nivellat, the Primordial and the second one became created and Gnosis together. Ew! <laughs> Ew, imagine seeing a dead body. And then. Um... Huh. 
too slow. Guys, guys, he's just a voice in their head, okay? Nobody, nobody, eh, get back, <laughs> get them back. Unlock the statue, mm. all right, you're right. I'm just gonna wind down for a bit before I go to bed. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. You saw a bunch in the chasm. That's true. That is a fact. Too slow. I might be streaming the other parts. I'm not quite sure myself if I'm going to be doing Behold. so. <laughs> my friend said. <laughs> my friend said if you're gonna give him twenty dollars, he'll speak. <laughs> Oh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You must. I'm not giving him twenty dollars. This set. Here, let's put that in Aster's uh gaming chair fund. What? Getting the other one to speak? No thanks. <laughs> Chat twenty dollars. <laughs> guys, 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 guys! No, don't, 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 don't. Do not! Do not! <laughs> Watch someone send a hundred dollars. I'm gonna need you guys to not do this! <laughs> Search for it. Do it, chat. <laughs> don't have chat, don't we'll do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Lucy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Lucy, do not fucking speak. <laughs> I will actually gatekeep this kid. <laughs> Huh. Too slow. Huh. So I'm trying. Wait, wait, wait. I'm I'm just trying to wind down for a bit. Um, before I'm trying to process everything. Um, because it has been a while. It has been a while. Guys, please don't. <laughs> Guys, don't do. Oh my god. Nyx and you know what? Lucy <laughs> Nyx, thank you so much for the donation. Alright, so you two bozos. I'm gonna meet you up guys like on the 18th. <laughs> and let's just say that someone donated. And I might be able to buy you guys pizza. Next, your money is going to be used for pizza. I will send like receipts just in case, so you guys know that I didn't just claim the money for themselves. We'll see. You are now unfortunately, um, obligated to speak. <laughs> God the fucking damn it! <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what to say. Damn, now he finally wait, speaks, wait, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, the fuck did someone donate? Come on, dude. It's, really it's for the pizza, dude. Ah, uh, surely, surely. It's for the pizza. God damn it. <laughs> that is the official story, but you know, we're gonna put it in the Ergo chair fund. Hello. These are the voices in my head. Just listening to me while streaming. <laughs> I'll just I'll just speak very low because too slow. Hello, these are just these are the voices in my head. All right, so unfortunately, I am not obligated to give you guys pizza. <laughs> Quit following me. Uh, are you just playing? Chess? As long as it's SNR, as long as it's SNR, I'm good with that. Mm, no, I'm just playing puzzles. Like that, that's, Lu that's, that's Lucy played me earlier, and he kicked my ass three <laughs> times out of four. <laughs> Two dads. They are not my dads, guys. They are not my dads. Squall and fury. Care fun. Let's. <laughs> I. Okay. I will. I will buy a chair. Okay. I will buy a chair. I will buy a chair. I will You're buy a so chair. You're so happy just to see the sun again. If we I get Astro to buy a chair, I'll be your dad. No! 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 No, 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 
I'm this close to serving what are you know? <laughs> Too slow. You're lucky my Discord's like lo lagging right now. I can't actually open Discord. <laughs> What's this? Sounds like a load of not my problem. <laughs> I am legally obligated to buy these people pizza. Lucy just said that if like if if you guys donated twenty dollars, and unfortunately I have to pay him. Prina Matt? Really? Can you? Can wait, can you what? What? What's happening here? Too slow. Too What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? Is there rest for your stream set? No, no, it's okay. Hmm. Should be should be Wyatt. What's the question here? I'm scared. What what am I agreeing to? No 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 no. I'm already buying him pizza. Too slow. It's okay. Squall and fury. <laughs> no 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 no. no, no, no. Me. I'm already buying him pizza. You guys you guys you guys shouldn't use your money. It's okay. <laughs> Too slow. Did you claim the apologems? Is apologems? Yes, I did. Just say yes. Too slow. What does should we mean? Just say yes? No, I don't want to say yes. I don't want to say yes too. Yes. <laughs> Go away. I mean, okay, okay. You know what, sure. Since you're already here, since you're already talking, I can't. I literally cannot read like Discord right now. Too slow. Why, do, why are you an advocate for ergonomic chairs? Wait, who are you asking me or Lucy? You. I mean, I'm Lucy's advocating for a mana block, so you know. <laughs> Quit following me. I don't know. Chap was also saying like a mana block would be fine. No. <laughs> Shit, it's so Why? Funny. I don't know. Why would you submit your yourself to that kind of torment? Just which, get an ergonomic chair. Which voice is the angel? Which one's the devil? All knowing these two bozos, one of them always tells me to sleep properly, and the other one is telling me to like. <laughs> to play League of Legends! <laughs> Dude, my handle is literally. Uh, my handle is literally named Lucifer. I don't know what they on about. Yeah, let's just say one of them is a bad influence. <laughs> I had us in our foldable launchers. Monoblock is just for the memes. Is it? Uh, Lucy, do you use a monoblock? You use a monoblock? I've used them. Uh, I've used Monoblock for like an attack beat. Uh, Follow me. Huh. Couple of years, I guess. It's good. It's good. Wait, the thing. The thing is, sure. You know what? Fine. I'm. I'm really gonna uh, go into detail while Monoblock. <laughs> oh is good. my god. <laughs> you're, you're go. You're gonna go into detail why uh, why Monoblock is good. And yet, half the time we see you guys, complaining. Guys, guys, please don't don't do it anywhere. I'm gonna buy them pizza. I promise. I promise. All the money is gonna go to them. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need like, exactly. Exactly. Like I'm gonna need like an uh, like a whole box for myself because you know I like pizza. Same. Grace. I'm not even gonna bother being responsible for the like, for the money that's being donated here. So I'm just going to buy the pizza. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what's the difference of the monoblock? Also, doesn't it feel cold on the ass because it's plastic? I, I mean, what's the longest time you've sat on a monoblock chair? I don't know. Monoblock is, uh, monoblock is affordable, it's durable, and at the same time, very you know, low maintenance. So, it's, it's a good starter if you want to replace your chair immediately. Ergonomic chairs, yes. Honestly, I, I, I'm using an ergonomic chair right now, so you know. It's better than the school chair. Oh, fury. <laughs> hey, my school, school chair, definitely. <laughs> my school chair's okay. It's extra table space. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna go out of your way to buy a monoblock chair to replace your current one, and then buy another ergonomic chair to replace the monoblock chair, why not just get an ergonomic chair off the bat? I mean... <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. If you have the, the budget... It sounds like they have a monoblock content creator. No, no, no. Go get a... <laughs> yeah? Go get Herman Miller. Jesus, not a Herman Miller. Like, what Wait. the fuck are you on, man? 
How do you even give me the school table? I'm not using a school table. I'm using a... Chair. There's no need to exchange. Okay, I'm gonna chair. lean back. I'm gonna lean back. I remember, like, to force a I remember when I went to a club to shop recently, silence. and like I finally got to sit on an actual chair, and I just kind of died. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I can get an. I can get a chair. It's fine. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I think. I think it's. I think it's finally time for me to take my L. Alright. Quit following and me. And use this through <laughs> Okay. I think it's time for me to take my L. Alright, voices in my head say goodbye to them. Bye, Chad. Thanks for threatening to donate so she finally gets a chair. No. We've been trying to convince her for months. Actually, no, not months, for weeks. And all it took was you guys. You threatened to donate. For her to do it. Congratulations. You can ask a lot question. Go ahead. No worries. I have to go by 3 p.m. because my internet cuts off. <laughs> Did you? It's no, 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 no. I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> Wait, I'm so sad. Question. You have believe with donations. The peer pressure. <laughs> I'm getting a check. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the beats, I guess. There's two voices. The protein, sir. There's two of them. Three if there's like the other one spawns out of nowhere. Mm. It's so cold. Wait, there was a lore question that was like, suppose I'm I'm waiting for that lore question. <sighs> Do you think the gnosis were given and also that they can't be brought together in the first place? So he says rebelling by revi reviving the third sender. Actually that's a good call. A contingency. You store the power somewhere and then you split it into into seven. You try to make it so that the Gnosis are, oh, you should protect them at all costs. Turns out the people don't really care. <laughs> These play the Villet lines about the Gnosis. I will read them late. I will most likely read them. Yeah, I'll read them. I will read them in time. It's the last floor bomb. I don't have Nervalet. I'm sorry. I don't have Nervalet. Three. The other voices are sleeping. <laughs> <It's too slow. laughs> I just use Discord on my chat uh, while I'm streaming. Cause I, you want to use my um, hand? I want to huh. make sure that my driver is still break. You think that Arca needs to be physically disappeared to relinquish huh. their authority? Huh. Too slow. I think they need to huh. die <laughs> completely, and then to. Um, Hmm. Because, okay, no, no, no. Death is not how to relinquish the seat. Because <sighs> Egeria succeeded with... What do you call this? Egeria... Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Can't speak. Egeria has a successor. So I think it requires more power to actually break the seat itself. At this rate, there will be 30. They will they were increasing by 30. Arkans are very discreet in their lines. Yeah, I think so. I think they've been very discreet. Are the Pale Princess? I think that the Pale Princess has always been very relevant. It's just that we don't have more chapters. What do you think of the Cap... Uh... uh is going to do an outline? Hopefully, he's not gonna be a douchebag. <laughs> honestly, I actually kinda like that the Knave was slow. honestly pretty amicable. Quit following me. They're no different if not being worse than Venti being an... Too slow. They're no different, if not worse, than Venti being an absentee archon. Quit following me. Honestly, yeah, they're okay. Venti gets a lot of flack. I don't like that. Venti gets a lot of flack for being quote unquote absentee, which honestly is okay. Too slow. I mean, Venti is Venti has been Venti, Venti has me. been asleep. Honestly, I feel like Venti is dying. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I don't want to say that. It's mean. It's cruel. I don't want to say that about Venti. Oh! Oh, never mind. I haven't unlocked it. Okay. It's 2.45. And... My back has been killing me. Alright. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I will probably be posting a video tomorrow. Considering that I actually have something in plan for the old lore of Celestia. 
and more so about the island in the sky. And it's a pretty short video, but I actually kind of want to talk about it. Chair pick. I'll, I'll send a picture of my chair tomorrow, okay? If you guys want to see what it looks like. <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. No, it's almost 3 a.m. on my end. But yeah. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, bye. Nantok na ako. Don't forget to get a chair. Yes, I won't forget to get a chair. I won't. I. I. I, I for sure know that. They're going to bother me. <laughs> to, to get Don't worry, chat. <laughs> we'll remind her incessantly. <laughs> they won't let me forget about the chair. Okay, bye-bye.